I am very excited for the Scarland art book. Um, it's nice of you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And thank you so much for the tip. Much appreciated. Um, but yeah, going to be doing doing a a, a review on or gosh, wow, is it too early in the day to stream? I'm going to be doing a uh, a little uh, look through here, and I'm super super excited. Um, this is one of the most incredible things I've seen since uh, doing content creation. I'll give you a sneak peek. Look at this. Look at this. Sneak peek. You saw it, but now it's gone because it's a sneak peek. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is one of the absolute coolest things. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll get emotional if I talk about it too long. But super cool. And uh, small spoiler. This might this this one signed right here signed gonna be up for auction soon oh he spoiled stuff oh my gosh oh no uh let's see get catch up thank you for the four months much appreciated uh let's see um, Rose, thank you for the 21 months much appreciated <laughs> steve palpatine thank you for the bits much appreciated uh that's a hoogan 40 thank you for the five gifted subscriptions to the community that is generous and much appreciated as a many, thank you for the 19 months and a boop to you thank you so much for the 19 month resubscription much appreciated sub to bumbo thank you for the 24 months two years oh my god time flies time flies Time does fly, my friend. Uh, Snazzy Live, thank you for these seven months. Much appreciated. Um, all right. We got stuff. We got important stuff to do, my friends. Big stuff. Important stuff happening, right? We got to go grief. Um, Impulse is base. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. It's going to be good times all around if I can actually make Minecraft work today. Wow. I'm so good at things. Sometimes I, I blow my mind on how good I am at things. And now I can't even make Minecraft appear. And now I'm going to make this appear. And boom, bam, did it. Give me a thumbs up in the chat. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Oh, the tech, the tech issues today. Whew, we're good. We are good. Ah, uh, let's see. Hoza27, thank you for the three months. Much appreciated, my friend. Much appreciated. Chip Paul, thank you for the five gifted subscriptions to the community. How generous and appreciative. Very much. Thank you so much for the support. Um, gotta love making enemies. You know, Beatup says it was okay. Beatup said it was okay. So we're gonna go, uh, what Beatup said. Oh, disregard that. Don't, don't pay attention to that. That's, that's a spoiler right there. That's, <laughs> that's solid, by the way. That's solid, thick, thick to the core, hard as a rock. There's no hollowness in that, no. That's not like a like a sneaky Easter bunny that you think you're getting a solid uh, chunk of chocolate and it's hollow inside, mm-mm. That right there, boom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> but disregard, guys, that is spoilers. And it's spoilers, not spoiler times. Okay, what was I doing again today? Ah, yes, we're gonna do fun stuff. That's right, we're doing fun stuff. Let's go pop over to impulses real quick. Um, so I want to get some of the little details done today. So I've got some stuff back at the train I want to do. We're gonna be using the armor stand mod. We're gonna be doing some fun stuff in the greenhouse. We're gonna take the mending book. We're gonna do something fun with that with the armor stand. Uh, but I thought for fun here, because B Dubs and Impulse said it's okay, is to make. Okay, well that's incredible. That's that's amazing. <laughs> that's that's better than what I plan on doing today. I'm just resurrecting something today for fun. Um, but they have this incredible steampunk base that um, Impulse and B Dibs are building together, which will eventually be something even better than just a base. It's gonna be amazing. Um, we need to find a spot to put <laughs> our little uh, our little graffiti. That's right. We're gonna be we're gonna be graffitiing up his base. And then I'm gonna resurrect the sewer cats. That's right, sewer cats. They're making a comeback. Chip Willish cheered X500. I used to live near railway sidings, and the spoiler reminds me of the old coal and scrap piles. Oh, that's yes, you're right. It does look like that. That's Tony interesting. J1989 cheered X1000. Love your energy all the time. Thanks, Scar. Oh, Tone J, thank you so much for the, the bits and a nice message. I appreciate that. That's very nice. You guys and your nice messages today. Um, okay. All right. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to get our armor stand uh, book out. We need to start figuring out how to do it. I know Cleo. Is Cleo on? Ah, oh, I wish. Um, there is like something called the armor stand poser mod. I don't know what that does. It, it's like an extra level to the armor stand mod. So... Um, I don't know if you need that as a separate mod in your mod folder or what, but 
what I want to do is, oh, I was going to float all the way up onto the platform so that I hit my head on the mailbag. Very sad. Kim has underscore mouse cheered X1050. It has been proven that a hatred of Lilo and Stitch leads to tech issues. What if? What if my tech issues would be worse? Did you ever think of that, Christmas? Did you ever think of that? Mm. <laughs> you know, I do want to start building this, by the way. Hold on, I got to get my, my safety utensils out. I do want to start building this. We need to build it. We do need to build this. But the problem is, if you saw what my desk looked like, you would say, Scar, if you put Legos there, it's going to be a disaster. And that's true. But we might, we may start today. We might start. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very hard for me to work on this. I need everyone's support. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, besides uh, getting the menu book on the fishing rod... I do want to start making our banana trees. In our last stream, you guys mentioned that um, a good banana in Minecraft could be NBD the yellow candle. 34 cheered Dex 500. It's great to see your back streaming. Oh, and thank you for that. That's very generous. Of you. Much appreciated. Um, it is good to be back. Um, it's been a, whew, it's been like two weeks of being way under the weather, and then, um, then this week has just been super, super busy. I haven't had a. I have a, oh man, I haven't had a spare second to do anything. I've been recording like minutes a day. Like I get, I get a minute to do a little recording here and a, and a minute over here. And I'm like, today I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna stream. I wanna stream, wanna stream. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get started. Um, first thing we want to do is get our supplies because we're bringing back the sewer cats. Who remembers the sewer cats from season, what was it, six? It was the end of season six. Oh no, in my next episode, we are going to the permit office. Don't, don't you worry. I'm getting that mob permit. I'm seeing some salutes. <laughs> I am seeing some salutes. I love it. I love it. Okay, good, good, good. If you don't know what the sewer cats were, should I show you what the sewer cats were? Do we go on a field trip? Chat, chat. Are we going on a field trip? Are we doing this? Are we doing this live? Are we going? Okay, okay. All right, buckle up, everybody. Pippin We're going on a quick field trip. Comments. You're gonna love this. Idea. If you still dislike the panda skin, change it to a red panda. Ah, oh, that's an interesting idea. I, you know, I like pandas. I just don't respect them. It's, it's, it's. They, they are. They're interesting creatures. Am I right? Okay. So, in season six, I think it was um, uh, B Dub's impulse, Green and I. And we basically lived in Corrales' base. And when we were, we basically would steal things from his base in hopes that um, he wouldn't see us. So the whole idea was to try to steal as much stuff from his base without him seeing. M underscore underscore one two cheered X 300. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Flying through the sky, little Scarsteens. <laughs> Scarsteens, I love that. Emma, thank for the bits, much appreciated. Guys, a little bit of nostalgia hit. I know, I know, I'm feeling it. You're feeling it. We're all feeling it right now. Um, yeah, we are. We are at the moment in uh, in the world download Their for uh, season seven. Dex three hundred high scar. I do believe sewer cats was season seven D. You are correct, my friend. Ew, this is just so wild, especially with the Bobby mod. Like, you could never have seen all of this with the Bobby mod, or without the Bobby mod back in Season 7. Like, oh my gosh, so many people. By the way, we're going to get to work on Season 10. Don't worry. So many people never got to see this. I worked so hard on that rocket to make it done for the final episode of Season 7. All oh, the hours it took to make this a reality. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love the systems, right? I think the systems are what came out like really cool in this design. What I mean by that is that F Ooh. you think this is bad. You have no idea how bad that, that had gotten. Um, everything in this area has a rhyme and a reason and a purpose, right? You have the parking lot, you have the vehicles, you have the checkpoints before you go inside of the building to go down into the big dig like this this was such a fun project um man 
you got the little creatures coming out. So the idea was when the nether was getting updated, I wanted to create a base all about drilling to the center of the earth and then breaking through into the nether. And there's consequences to that, like the creatures coming out and stuff. My son Leo is a huge fan, watches with his dad all the time. He is only five, soon to be six. Can you please wish him a happy birthday? He is battling brain cancer and we have been in the hospital since the 16th and we will be in on his birthday the 28th. Oh, so sorry here. Um, Leo, a huge, 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 huge happy birthday to you. Say hi to your dad. Um, chat, can we please get some huge, huge, huge supportive happy birthdays in the chat? I want to see the spamming. I want to see Nightbot timing people out. There's so much spam. Um, but yeah, huge, huge happy birthday with your big, your big um, sixth birthday coming up. Um, and hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully we can get you out of the hospital as soon as possible. And once again, a big, 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 big happy birthday. Uh, look at all those happy birthdays in the chat. Look at that. Look at that. Almost 5,000 people wish you, Leo, a happy birthday. That's amazing. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. That's amazing. Thank you, chat. Thank you guys for always being so supportive, especially for uh, special things in the chat. Um, yeah, that's amazing. Look at all those happy birthdays. <laughs> Universe. 1998. Thank you for the 18 months. Much appreciated. Look at those happy birthdays. That's great. No ah, why can't I write time? Why can't can I write? X300. Season 7 was my first ever Hermitcraft season, and you were one of the first Hermits I watched. I'm very happy to get mentions of it again. Bring so many good feelings and memories. It was a season that got a lot of people through some rough times. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> but look at this. Look at this. Okay. So you had the jellyfish, right, coming out of the nether. And then that's glass, right? So that's like the, like the nether under there. Um, and then this is all replicated in the nether where the, the actual drill here is like poking through the nether, which is super, super cool. And of course, all of these like stranger things like tentacles growing out of the nether because you're really not supposed to break through to the nether. You're kind of getting some clashing of two worlds is what's going on here. And you can see how the nether material is being dug up out of the machine. Um, anyway, anyway, I just wanted to pop over here. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. I love this one. You can see how the material is being thrown on this conveyor belt and then sent onto this vehicle here. And that's just pushing out the debris. So what I love about this is there's a system and everything kind of follows these systems within the Scarx Corporation. And you got helicopters and you got all sorts of fun stuff here. Um, anyway, anyway, that's not why we're here. We've got to, we got to go pop over to Corrales' base. Off we go. You know what we should do? We should play uh, Hermitcraft GeoGuessr. I played it with Grian a while back, and um, it was super, super, super fun. And I challenge any Hermit to GeoGuessr. I think that's the one thing I can safely say that I'm good at. Here it is. Here it is. So this is what I want to bring back as a fun Easter egg on the walls in Impulse and um, B-Dubs' uh, game they're building. So this is B-Dubs, of course. And then there's me, and there's Wide Green. That's right, there's Princess Wide Green. And then uh, Impulse there. That's gonna be cool. We're at our Winter Guard International Finals competition and are just waiting now for our results, plus watching other guards smile. But I'm happy to tune into the stream during our breaks. D. Oh, well. Uh, we're all wishing you uh we're all wishing you good luck. We're all wishing you good luck. Winter Guard International. What's a Winter Guard International? What 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 are we what are we what are we playing here? Hold on, Winter Guard International. Let me look this up. I want I want to know what this is now. Winter Guard International. What is this? What is this? Uh, da, 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 da. What, what is this? Color Guard. Oh oh like like oh I see a marching band. Oh well this looks fun. Did you play any John Williams music? Oh it's like dancing and stuff. Oh that's cool. Oh I love this. Oh this is fancy. Praise be Scar the train god with the on to first find the first sound and taker of mystical book also Scar are you going to have artifacts train cart like from the newest Indiana Jones film? Well the newest Indiana Jones was um was back in like the 80s but but <laughs> no I'm just joking uh, actually the train is heavily inspired by the last Indiana Jones movie in the, um, the uh, 
Circus so my friend and I have decided to name a twin pair of lambs Scar and Jelly, and they're the absolute cutest less than three. Oh, that's cute. I love I love to hear that. That's that's really, really cool. That's really cool. Um That's awesome. Um all right, so we've got the uh we've got the, the four sewer cats here. <laughs> But where the sewer cats lived is the fun part. So this, of course, is where we would take things, right? And we would bring them down here and trying to get Kralis never to notice, right? That was the competition. How much could we steal from the city above and bring down to the sewer cat's lair before Kralis knew? Like, look at this. Somebody took one of the ambulances. They And this was my thing. I took the original, um, you know, South Park. Uh, graffiti, I put it there. I think Impulse did this one. Tipped five dollars. Scar, you should make Dubs a block shorter to mess with him. It's a good idea right there. That's a solid. That's a solid plan. That's a solid plan right there. But yeah, isn't this so fun and silly? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Like took the lighthouse, but I took the plane and won. That's right. I just, I just said, you know, forget it. We're going all in. I took the plane and I brought it down here, and it took hours and hours. And hours and it's well worth it it's well worth it so yeah that was a fun little story that we had fun with in season seven. Oh, i love it i think one of the very first things was the american flag like i remember i took that off the farm <laughs> i just took it off and then all of a sudden there's like so we took a palm tree and then they took a shipping Belt container and it was just the escalation to the point where we took the plane face. and your calves keep being awesome that's an order that's an order Oh, uh, Joe, thank you so much for that. That is incredibly generous and very much appreciated. And um, I, I will I will do my absolute best following order, sir. <laughs> thank you for the support. That's much appreciated. Um, but yeah, I, I'm glad you guys got a little fun uh, kick out of seeing uh, season seven. Like Kralos, like pff, killed it. Like, look at how cool that is. Look at how cool that is. Anything else you want to see? The last thing I want to see before we head back to um, before we head back to uh, season ten. Look, guys, look at this. Look at this. Sorry, we're, we're really off track here. The original decked out. The original decked out. Look at this. The original decked out. What's this? Oh, it's really laggy. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. We are we're in the nether realms apparently right now. Oh my gosh. I can barely move. What is going on? <laughs> I can barely move. Let's see if we can pop back up here and maybe things will stabilize. Nope. Nope, apparently not. It is really laggy, but you can kind of get a cool look at the uh, the shopping district. This has to be the coolest shopping district we have ever had in Hermitcraft. Like the energy, the liveliness, all the stories, all the fun that's taken place in this particular spot is just absolutely incredible. I have no idea why the lag is so bad. I mean, it was laggy when we played, but never not, not unplayable. Um, there's the chest monster. Wow, it is. It is sure something. Where, what FPS are we getting today? We're getting a solid four FPS, guys. A solid four. <laughs> We're killing it right now. We're killing it with the FPS. Maybe it bring down from 32. Let's just, let's just go down a little bit. Maybe this will help. Maybe that'll help. The solid four right there is was tough. Okay, that helped a bit. Okay, okay, that that definitely helped. Um, but yeah, you can see just all the fun stuff that happened in here, like Azuma and Coralis's, um moon base over there. There's my uh, there's my drill for Hep. <laughs> oh, my favorite thing from the entire season, the Hep factory. Yes, the lag has nothing to do with some diamond trees. No. There was other lag in the shopping district. We've established this over many, many years. <laughs> we have established this. Um, but yeah, check out this. I had so much fun putting this together. Oh, there's so much nostalgia in here. Crazy. Crazy. And then, of course, the HEP building up at the top. Uh, but what I want to see before we head back to Season 10 is Aqua Town. Oh my god. Aqua Town was such a fun Hunt project. Score and underscore sausage is tipped five dollars. Scar, I think your zoo train is awesome. I'm also making a zoo. Will you please stream some more phasma too? 
I love oh. your face mo videos. I love how I lo there's things that Scarva says that are funny, like wow, and apparently Phasma. That's great. Um, yes, we do plan on doing some uh, more Phasma very soon. And uh, Puck Sausage, thank you so much for the, the tip. Very much appreciate it. Um, so this is Aqua Town. This was an area that uh, B Dibs and I did together. And basically, we divvied up plots and we tried to see who could sell the most of the plots. And we were selling those to hermits and we had an absolute blast. This little corner over here was a lot of the buildings that I did. Um, so I had a lot of fun doing this. This was Azuma right here. He built that. Um, you see, you can see over here the first sale. <laughs> These are the uh, the plots we were trying to sell, which we didn't sell all of those. This was Threads by Scara. Threads by Scara came... When I look at some of these builds, I'm like, oh, I could have done this different. I could have done that a little bit different. I think I could have scaled that better. Um, but anyway, um, Threads by Scar came a season too early before we had the custom texture pack, um, which was sad. Uh, this this store was supposed to sell custom items, but we, I just couldn't at the time figure out quite how to do custom items. And then I worked with FCD about trying to get the top hat for season seven and then came the the texture pack system and all that uh, this shop could have been so cool if it would have came a year later <laughs> a year later that shop could have been absolutely amazing all the TikTok. listen oh this is cool i did the redstone guys look look at my redstone you you i know you can't believe it you're like shocked like scar redstone Yep. Corey Wyatt underscore tipped five dollars. Hi Scar from the UK. I am watching your stream to calm my nerves before starting a new job tomorrow. Love the content. Well, my friend. Hey, wait, first of all, thank you for the tip. Much appreciated. And I think I can say on behalf of all 5,400 people, we're all got your back. We all believe in you. You're going to kill it. You're going to go there and you're going to do an amazing. Right, chat? Right, chat? It's gonna, you're gonna do a fantastic job and um and yeah pat strong pats on the back and you got this okay you got this uh look at all the good lucks in the chat look at that you got all these people behind you um so the idea behind this was uh it was an emergency sleep alarm so <laughs> it had the TikTok, it had the hour beep and also had like an insane bells that would go off if beat ups hadn't have slept this was beat up section as you can tell it looks incredible like just absolutely incredible um snips down there the tnt shop um and then i never quite finished the back of this section this needed some more texturing work uh, but i love this building right here with like the antenna on the top the water tower this was basically the free building we got to the point in season seven that we had so much resources that i started giving away stuff for free up here because I wanted more people to start building in Aquatown. And I basically just, it's like, guys, free stuff, free stuff. Come here and build. Beatups and I want more people in Aquatown. And the Zuma built these buildings here. And then the Moo Pop Cafe Toby might be one of my freaking favorite things ever. Aquatown is one of my favorite builds of yours. Orange Heart, the style of the buildings and the clock in the middle. It's always been a favorite of mine to fly around. Oh. oh, I'm so I'm so glad. I'm so glad uh, you like flying through it. b -Dibs built this trolley, came out absolutely fantastic. This was his real estate office. I think he called it perfect real estate. Um, and basically, we just kept building our offices bigger and more grand to try to outcompete each other. <laughs> uh, but this was definitely my favorite uh, of the of the city. I, I'm going to say this. This is this was my favorite build in the entire city. Um, so this was the Moo Pop Cafe. There's so many fun memories of this area uh, from the season. Like when we did the big charity stream for SOS Africa, we periodically would come back to um, the Moo Pop Cafe here and we would. Um, was it? Do we call this the Moo Pop Cafe or the Scarland Cafe? I actually forgot now. I think it was the Moo Pop Cafe, right? It was the Moo Pop Cafe. Uh, we would come back here and, um, you know, like talk about the charity and the goals and all of that stuff. So um, this was such a fun uh, build. I don't think I ever got to the upper area. I think I just uh, enclosed the windows so they looked a little more finished. This was supposed to be Scar's booty booty right here. 
this was going to be a fun shop because this I built this cliff, right? It was a custom cliff and I was going to put a pirate ship there and it was going to be called Scar's uh, Booty and it was going to have like a treasure thing that you could do, but it never happened. Scar's Booty never became a thing, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this was supposed to be Scar's Booty. <laughs> Oh man, so much fun stuff. Oh, I, I, I this was not planned to come here today. Um, but uh, yeah, quite a nostalgia trip. Let's pop in real quick, real quick, my friends, real quick. Um, this was my... Sometimes people would disable that and I'd get really, really mad. <laughs> uh, but this was my real estate office. So people could come here to my real estate office and I would sell them plots. And the area inside kept expanding, right? I would add more and more and more floors. Um, so we had the art studio here where people were designing and helping building the shops in Alpha Town. Uh, this is our research area. So this is where everybody sat behind computers and watched Zillow for new properties to appear. Um, can relate. And then, uh, you know, on their off days, they like to shoot arrows at B-Dubs' face. Um, I mean, who, who doesn't, right? So they throw arrows at beat up his face. And now up here, this Captain is where the boss Josh is. Pants cheered X300. I think you just said booty too many times, but also booty, booty, booty. A booty, booty, booty. <laughs> Captain Josh thank you so much for the uh, bits. Very much appreciate it. Um, and yes, beat ups watched me out the window here, by the way. Yes, he watched me. Um, and then lots of fun little, uh, little Easter eggs from the season, right? Mumscar up there. Uh, Mare Scar. Uh, evil pandas. This was something, but I forgot what. Remind me in the chat. And then, of course, <laughs> what is that? Kind of like a superhero green? And then Mumscar again. And of course, uh, Grogu and the Mandalorian. Man, was 2020 not the absolute best for the Mandalorian? We felt like Star Wars couldn't get any better. And so, so sad. Anyway. Um, and then I had a, a crafting room all set up in here uh, for stuff. It's interesting the armor stands, armor stand mod put everything on an angle like that. And then over here, I have my bedroom all set up here, looking pretty good. Um, and I don't know if I did anything up here. No, I had plans for these floors, uh, but I didn't quite get to it. But it looks cool. Like, I think that looked really cool for 2020 style builds. I think that came out pretty cool. Did I do anything in the basement? I had plans for that too. Oh, I didn't finish it. I had plans for it down here, but I guess I didn't finish it. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I was wondering if I had done anything in there. But look at how cool this place is. Look at how cool this place is. Oh, I love it. I'm pretty sure B-Dubs won the diamond challenge, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure he did. And this was the timer, right? We had a timer to, to sell the, the plots in the in the in Aqua Town here. Um, this spot right here was supposed to be a museum, but unfortunately it never happened. It was modeled after, I believe, it's either Chicago or New York. There's a museum that I had planned there, but it didn't happen. Um, can we just always say something nice about Tango in Toon Towers? This is one of the most unique and imaginative bases ever made in Minecraft. I always think back to this base. Royal so unique, Tango. 300. You won the diamond challenge in our hearts, Scar. <laughs> in our hearts. I was like, I didn't win. Oh, in our hearts. Um, yeah, Beatups did such a good job. I love the one build that he did here. That is an abandoned building. Ah, so cool. Vinny Vegan tipped five dollars. I was just watching your charity stream vote from last year. I just started watching you this year. I've been enjoying your past streams, and I'm glad to catch my first live. Oh, well, welcome to the stream. It's good to have you, my friend. Your streams and content mean so much. Less than three, less than three. Oh, that's a very nice message. And uh, yeah, I'm so glad uh, you joined our community. That's much appreciated, my friend. Oh, B-Dubs, you didn't finish this. <laughs> you didn't finish the rail line. What is this? What kind of shenanigans is this? This is a broken rail line. <laughs> oh, man. I've had so much fun over here. we got to go sit on the diamond throne. We, we've got to sit on the diamond throne. Oh, yeah. Right up on an old diamond throne here. Looking out over my shopping district. Mayor Scar keeping an eye on these hooligans. And if I'm not mistaken, there is a very special thing up here. Oh, there it is. 
There it is. God, what a beauty. What a beauty right there. Never forget. Never forget. <laughs> oh, classic Bumbo. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love that. Oh, there's the shopping district. So um, that was the mycelium resistance uh, headquarters once they were unearthed. And then you have the drill. You have the Moopop factory. You have decked out the original. Um, let's see. Let's see what else is here. Uh, chest monster shop is over on this side. Some really cool little shops along this section. Lots of cool stuff. <laughs> it's so fun seeing all this. Oh, the diamond trees. They were the best, weren't they? This area was actually modeled after Hong Kong Disneyland. The way they have like kind of the gray pavement. They have the bricks. They have the trees. Um, that's how I modeled this area. Can we do this more? You want to see more nostalgia trips on streams? Yeah, we are. We're in Lag City right now. Interesting, right? How the lag gets worse when we get away from the diamonds. Hmm. I had to pop over here to our uh, our greenhouse of horrors. Did we ever have a name for this? Like an official name for our greenhouse of horrors? <laughs> oh. Oh, the mushrooms really took over this build. Scara. Yes, this is Scara. Is this Scara Jr., by the way? So in this area, you could buy leaves. You could buy really any gardening things that you wanted. Um, and dirt. Dirt was actually a decent seller. It was a decent seller in uh, Season uh, 7. So there are people out there who use dirt. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. Super cool. Um, let's go look over at the chest monster. That was one of the first shops that uh, was made in the shopping district. One of the first. There's a few other ones, but it was definitely one of the uh, very first ones. Now, fun fact about this shop. It was supposed to be a game. What I mean by that is eventually I wanted to make um, like a door, right? That like slowly closed like a this. And you went into it and you tried to harvest as many shulker boxes as possible before the door closed. And if the door closed, then you lost and you had to put the shulker box back. Uh, but as long as that door was, was still open, you could get out with as many of the shulker boxes as you could. Um, I wish I would have got that done. This was such a wild seller. Basically, I just stacked shulker boxes up here and then people could then mine the shulker boxes that they wanted. And this is pre-farming shulker boxes. So those were big sellers and quite rare. Unfortunately, uh, you know, they added the farming ability and it basically put me out of business because that was one of my good shops that I knew I could sell good, good money for. Um, it's so silly. When I, when I coined the term chess monster way back in like 2016, 2017 or whatever, it's funny how it's like really caught on. <laughs> it started when, um, we were working on Scar City in season five of Hermitcraft, and the, the chest just kept getting bigger and bigger. And I'm like, I've got a real monster here, guys. It's becoming a chest monster. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's where the that's where a chest monster got coined was way back in season five of Hermitcraft, and then it just kind of stuck since then. You saw Grumbot as we went by. Yeah, the Grumbot was over there. Well, that is where we started our magical journey through season seven. Fun. <laughs> that was a fun, that was a fun little journey uh, through season seven. But now we must gather ourselves into our ship of, st of stars and head back to season 10. That was fun. I like that. That was, that was a lot of nostalgia built into that, uh, that tour right there. Whew. Also, can I just say really, really laggy really laggy <laughs> real laggy uh right there we are i won't complain about season 10's lag ever again also i'm not in creative i just realized obviously because this is a real season dollars scar what are your thoughts on that 2002 disney movie that involves aliens but has a deeper theme about found family i think it's called treasure planet no huh. other movie i could be talking about i never saw treasure planet I saw Treasure Planet. A lot of people always say to go watch Treasure Planet again. I need to fix that. And I need rockets. Okay, let's... Man, I, I'm so bad at getting anything ever done. Let's go get our rockets. 
let's go fix our tool and then we can start working on our graffiti as we as we uh, grief impulse space by the way impulse working on something new down there looking amazing by the way looking amazing looking amazing change the screen what screen what am i changing what's wrong with the screen I don't know what's, what's wrong with the screen. Oh, game screen. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh my gosh, what? I'm such a noob. I'm sorry, I was so confused there for a second. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, what's wrong with the screen? It can't be anything wrong, can it? Where's the rocket shop? There's the old rocket shop. Oh, so uh, the popo is going to be coming after, uh, after him in a minute. I'll tell you that right now. Do we have any more diamonds left? Okay, good. Whew. These are two diamonds a stack? Oh man, the, the permit office is going to need to make another uh, permit for rockets. There's no way it's still going to keep up with this. Star, I just wanted to say that you're awesome. I love the chaos you bring. You keep being you. Oh, well, thank you. That's that's much appreciated. No, I joke. I joke. It's still going to keep up with it. We just need him to restock that. I need I need rockets. Um, Get the box. Is there a box? Where can I get a box? It still has a box of rockets. I need a box of rockets. You need diamonds, just ask Cleo. Cleo making making bank on the books. <laughs> I bet she is. I, I bet Cleo is making bank on those books. I bet that'd be the case. There's more. Wait, where am I? Where am I? Hello? Knock, knock. Oh, this way. <laughs> it's like, where am I going? Now I'm going the wrong way. This way. Yeah, so Skiz is finally back, guys. So Skiz is back in the house. Which means, by the way, which means... The Popo's coming to town. Oh, much excited about the Popo. He's finally back. He's had his vacation. He's rested. He's prepared. He's ready for the Popo. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna crack some heads in the shopping district. It's gonna be amazing. Regulus, welcome to the stream and a big, big happy birthday. Can we get a happy birthday for Regulus? Can we get a big happy birthday? Wow, that's really loud. That's real loud. I want to see that happy birthday spamming, guys. I want to see, I want to see happy birthday spam. I want to see happy birthday spamming. There we go. There's the happy birthday spamming we wanted. There it is. Look at it, look at it coming in. Let's keep it going. We're getting our tool fixed. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> CT Bulls, what's up? What's up? What's up? Howdy, howdy, Scar. Howdy, howdy to you. Caught a stream. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Also, you definitely need to watch Treasure Planet. I have been told I need to watch Treasure Planet. I should. I should. Did I put mending on this axe, by the way? I did finally. Um, yes, I will definitely do that. Um, uh, but Jim, thanks so much for the bits. Much appreciated, my friend. I hope you have a wonderful uh, Sunday also. Um... There we go. There we go. I'm glad we I'm glad we got some good happy birthdays in there for Eagles. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. There we are. Sweet. Okay, beautiful. All right, now we're all back up and running. Man, I'm so good at getting stuff done in efficient and timely manners. It's a feat that uh, few can match. I wondered for a second why people kept mentioning the permit office. They're like, is green in the permit office? It's Sunday. This is around the time that the permit office should be open and green taking his uh, lunch. So you are correct. I just thought of that. I was like, why do people keep asking is green in the permit office? Ah, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Yes, this is the day the permit office is supposed to be open. You are all correct. Where did I put my shulker boxes? I had two shulker boxes in my inventory. Where did they go? Oh, here they are. Oh, gosh, I put them right there. Okay, so we need to get a few materials. Not a lot, but we're going to recreate the uh, 
the uh, the graffiti that I showed. And if you guys have any Q&A questions as we gather these materials, hit me up in the comments. Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit me up. Gonna start getting our materials. Does anybody remember the Country Bear Jamboree from when it played at the beginning of the uh, the stream in Disneyland? I was so excited for them to go away. And I, I, I know some people out there are like, what? Scar, how dare you? Um, the reason being is that Tokyo Disneyland had the coolest Winnie the Pooh ride. Trackless ride vehicle, which was just revolutionary back in the day. Um, all these great sets and animatronics. And I thought, man, we're getting that. We're getting that at Disneyland. And then very little, very little people know about this, but one of the original concepts for the Winnie the Pooh ride at Disneyland was supposed to be a boat ride. Basically, you were in a honeypot and you would go through the canals, like there were water canals, similar to like a Small World or a Pirates of the Caribbean. And that also sounded incredible. But then the end result of what we got was... Uh, one of the worst rides that uh, WDI has ever made is the Winnie the Pooh ride at Disneyland. Um, it got budget cut to smithereens. And as much as we give um, Bobby Paycheck here a bad time, you know, Bob Jacob a bad time, there was somebody worse than him. That's right. There was somebody worse. He had a master. Little do people know that he is only an apprentice, Bobby Paycheck. Bob Paycheck is only an apprentice. There was somebody back in the day that was so... Yes, yes. God, I love my audience. Pressler, Paul Pressler was worse. God. Oh, I love my audience. They know these things. <sighs> yes, Paul Pressler was actually worse than uh, Bob Jacek. You can't... You have no idea how happy I am. I saw that go by the chat really quick. Someone said Pressler. <sighs> But thankfully, Pressler never made it to the top job, which would have been absolutely... I, I couldn't even fathom what would have happened in that case. Um, but yeah, just grabbing materials right now, guys, um, for our uh, graffiti. Uh, so for, for, for people who don't know, uh, in the 90s, um, just a recap, everything was going really well at the company. The company um, had a uh, change of management. They brought in... Uh, two people, uh, Michael Eisner and Frank Wells, and things went really well. Yes, there was some stuff like they they be, they made the company very much into more of a financial company rather than a creative company. But at the end of the day, there were still some really great things that came out of the '90s: Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Indiana Jones, uh, Star War or Star Tours, all these rides and movies that were just fantastic. When I say Indiana Jones, I don't mean the movies; I mean the ride. Um, Frank Wells dies, unfortunately, in a helicopter crash. He was a, he was a mountaineer man, climbed mountains. Um, so when he died, there was a lot of chaos in the company. Um, that, that guy was the glue of the 90s and 80s. Unfortunately, when, when, he, when, he, when, he, when he was killed, um, Eisner didn't really know what to do. It was just pure chaos. Um, and then uh, Disneyland Paris bombed, and they lost a ton of money, scared Eisner to smithereens, Eisner then had a bunch of spats with um, employees. He was suing people left and right. Uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg, there was lawsuits with him, who was head of the animation department, who then went on to DreamWorks and then, or to found DreamWorks. And then there was another guy, Orbitz. I forgot his name. I think it was Orbitz. There's all these crazy lawsuits, all this nonsense. And in that time, the budgets were just getting slashed left and right, and especially in the parks. The parks... If people complain about some of the stuff today in the parks, it is nothing compared to what it was in the 90s. You walked around peeling paint, garbage everywhere. Um, cast member costumes, I remember they were like trying to make it so there was like one cast member costume per land. So no custom costumes for attractions. They were trying to like bring everything to just like these standards. They got rid of like silverware. It was, it was a crazy time if you look back into the 90s and Paul Presser was responsible for all of that. Um, he, he had a protege under him, uh, Cynthia Harris. Eventually these two went to the gap and I think they ruined the gap or something. It was a whole long story, but, um, yeah, there were people actually worse than Bob Jake. It's hard to imagine, right? It's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine. Okay. All right. So we got those materials. Uh, we need black. We need black concrete. We need, um, 
brown concrete, gray concrete. Wow, there's a lot of different colors we're working with here. Uh, but this will be worth it. This will be really fun. I love making little fun callbacks to prior seasons, and this will be uh, this will be a really good one. There we go. So yeah, I just went on a little Disney rant for you guys. You weren't expecting that, were you? Justice for Dreamfinder. Straight up, he probably was responsible for 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 our lost Dreamfinder. I I would not be surprised. <laughs> I would not be surprised in the slightest. Um, yeah, we're gonna need some, we're gonna need some gray. 172 cheered decks 300. I really need to join the Hermitcraft server because there are so many chest monsters and storage problems. I have no clue how you guys ever find anything ever at all. We yeah, I really don't know either. Need the cleaning lady back. We're gonna need more black. Man, there is so many materials we're gonna need. Bring the cleaning lady back. <laughs> we do need the cleaning lady back. What's my opinion on Star Wars? <laughs> There's probably hours of of of, uh, of Star Wars content on, on my VODs. <laughs> you have to be more specific. You'll have to be more specific. There should be a rant counter. Yes, you are you are very true, very true on that. Okay, um, we need more stuff. We need a lot more stuff. We need more stuff. We need more stuff. And I don't seem to have anything I need because I'm drastically unorganized. Apparently, Etho came here to get some uh, materials. Uh, he needed some deep slate. And he said he left me some gunpowder. And I think he left it here. I, I don't doubt that he put gunpowder in here because I needed gunpowder as an exchange. Just don't know where he put it. I just got Disney Plus and wanted to know what order I should all the Star Wars shows I have seen all the movies. Mandalorian Season 1 and Clone Wars Season 1. Hmm. That's such a hard thing to say these days. Like, where do you start with watching Star Cat Wars with Bar all Gaming the shows? Cheered X300. While we're by the logo, today's train talk. A locomotive's pulling power is calculated as tractive effort, which involves factors including the number and size of pistons, driving wheels, boiler pressure, and weight. Ooh. Depending on the era, 440s like Scarhas would typically range between 5,000 and 15,000 pounds. Not terribly strong, but their larger driving wheels gave them higher top speed, around 45 miles per hour for models around the 1870s. Wow, dude, we get we get Kaz gives us train facts every stream, and this is amazing. I'm so here for train facts. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's always a that's always that's always a W when we get train facts. What are we griefing? We are griefing impulses base. We're just getting some materials so we can get going. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. I figured we probably might need some more of that stuff. Okay, so Star Wars. Where do you start with watching Star Wars? To me, I still think I'm going to stand by this. I think when, you, when you're new to Star Wars, you should start with the movies. And you should start with the, uh, the originals, and then start with the prequels, and then, um, and then start watching some of the shows. That, that's how I still think about it, but... That's stream thoughts. I'll, I'll put more thought into it, but I just th I think I feel like if you get too much in the weeds with watching the shows and this and that, you you're probably gonna lose interest. It's too much information. Just start with the movies, and then uh, then you'll be good. I think that, and then you know, if you're interested beyond that, then you can really dive into like the lore, the crazy lore of Star Wars, and watch Clone Wars animation and, and Rebels and all those great shows. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. We're going to need a little bit of the brown. There's so many materials, guys. <laughs> There's so many materials. I'm just looking I'm looking at a screenshot I took when we were over there of of this thing and I'm just shocked at how many materials we're going to need here. This is insane. Oh my gosh, there's so much. I do need to make sure I get some gray. I do need to make sure I get like a decent amount of gray. But also gonna need a lot of black, it looks like. I think. <laughs> I think. Oh my gosh. What's my opinion on Galaxy's Edge? So 
Tilly the Hunchered X500, I found out David Zaslav who is ruining HBO and Warner Brothers is responsible for ruining Discovery Channel by turning it into reality TV. Oof. Yeah, I don't know much about that, but uh, but I do know that a lot of those good TV shows or channels back in the day that, you know, like Discovery or History Channel really got kind of like, pfft, I don't know what happened with them. <laughs> we're griefing. I say we're going to be griefing impulse. It's going to be amazing. Buckle up, buckaroos. We're going to have some fun. X300, Ayo, Scar, and chat. Hope you're all well. Scar, I was curious if you ever heard of MC Parks, which is a one-to-one -one recreation of different theme parks with functional rides and everything. Oh, there's it's functional rides? Well, but it was very fun to explore with my friends. Oh, functional rides. I think I raided Jojo once when she was playing hide and seek in a Disney park. Is that it? Do you remember that? That was a while back. Like we raided Jojo and she was in a Disney park and I'm like, I want to, I want, I want, I want to play. <laughs> I want to play. Could have been. Could have been. Uh, but somebody asked uh, what my opinion was on Galaxy's Edge. Uh, I've, I've talked about it before, so I won't, I won't go into like super detail, but, um, I think what the Imagineers original idea was incredible. And I think what they have is, is good. I think Galaxy's Edge is great. Like I enjoyed it. Um, but unfortunately I, I know, <laughs> I know too much of what was cut from it. And, and when you know what's been cut from it, then you start seeing the holes of the land, but that's okay. That, that happens with all theme park designs. Uh, the main thing that I, I just highly disagree with, with the Imagineers is the lack of music in the land. It's hollow and so drastically different from the rest of the park. And John Williams created a custom score. And I think that should be played at least in the entrance tunnels going into the land. And it feels, it feels odd to not have Star Wars music playing in there. It's why a lot of people, when they go on Star Tours, it might be old and it might be kind of showing its age, but people still really get that like Star Wars nostalgia bump from it because of the music, because the music is like such an uh, integral part of what Star Wars is. Star Wars would not be the same without John Williams and the songs that he created for the original movies. But when you go into Galaxy's Edge, there's like no music. And the idea was that you're supposed to be in this real place and this and that. And it goes, it's so far outside of what the original Imagineers intended Disneyland to be. Um, it's kind of frustrating that they chose that. And the second thing I, I'm frustrated with with Galaxy's Edge is the very specific timeline. I don't begrudge them for trying. I think that's great that they tried this very specific timeline and they wanted it to be like literally in the Star Wars canon. That's fine. That's great. Unfortunately, it failed. Great example of why it failed is look at, um, you know, Marvel Land. People love going to that land just to see all the characters roaming around doing stuff. And they, they yeah, Tony Stark might be dead, but... You know, he's still in the land because that's kind of the weird, whimsically magical theme park land where stuff like that just happens, where, you know, you can kind of blend stuff together. When I go into the park, like, I want to see Padme. I want to see Chewbacca. I want to see Darth Vader. I want to see fill in the blank, Ahsoka. Like, going in there and not seeing, and not seeing um, any of the Star Wars characters is genuinely kind of a bummer. And yes, Jar Jar. How cool would it be if Jar Jar was a walk around character? How I would have designed Star Wars Land, Galaxy's Edge, is a lot like Fantasyland. You go into a land that's the Star Wars land, but the rides are to the different eras. Star Wars is this vast, incredible world full of characters and worlds and all this stuff, and they just shoehorned it into like a tiny little speck of the Star Wars universe. And to me, that's just kind of a bummer. Like, I feel like there was so much missed opportunity, and it's kind of a kind of a bummer. Uh, but the land is still great. The Imagineers did a great job designing the buildings and, and the rides and all of that. Uh, but it just feels like just a missed opportunity in so many ways. Yeah, so it's still cool. I still I still like it. I've been to it once in 2019 before Rise of the Resistance opened, by the way. So I haven't I haven't ridden that. I know my opinion would probably change on the land when I finally ride that attraction someday. Okay, we need gray. Do we need gray? Or is it brown? I think we need brown. There's <laughs> so many materials. This is wild. Okay, I think we're good there. Okay, good. Now, I do I do believe we need some black. So we're going to grab some of that. Good. 123 good. Cheered X 300. 
Hi Scar just wondering if you were ever into Power Rangers when you were younger, if so which series was your favorite? I never got into Power Rangers, I'm sorry. <laughs> I never got into it. Uh, never got into Power Rangers. I knew people who loved Power Rangers. I knew people who loved Power Rangers, but um, I, I personally didn't get into it. I learned so much about Disney. Jem, ask me a Disney fact. I'll, 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 te I'll teach you a fact. Yeah, it looks like a lot of um, a lot of a lot of uh, Power Ranger fans. Yeah, I never got into it. What's the aluminum falcon? Why can't I sleep? There we are. I could run a history class on Disney. That's very true. Don't get me started on on having to teach the new whippersnappers how to uh, about Disney facts. I will go on that rant, and I will not be. I will not regret it. What's the biggest ride? What's the biggest ride? That's a really interesting question. Because if, if we're talking in scale, what is the biggest attraction? Ramble Wheels cheered X300. Scar, did you see who are getting Disney Legends this year? John Williams, Harrison Ford, Frank Oz, Joe Rode are just some. Oh, I'm, I'm going to rant about this. I'm just uh, remind me I am s I, there is a rant coming about those and it's gonna it, it's gonna be big it's gonna be big <laughs> but no what is the biggest ride okay so let's let's start throwing this out there we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna include all the international parks so you have Disneyland Disney World uh Tokyo Disneyland Disneyland Paris and um Hong Kong Disneyland and Shanghai Disneyland so that is the order of parks opening Okay, so we're going to scratch immediately Hong Kong Disneyland because Hong Kong Disneyland uh, does not have any like very, very large scale attractions. Okay, we're going to we're going to scratch we're going to scratch off uh, Disneyland small park. Very similar to Hong Kong. Um, we're going to scratch off uh, Magic Kingdom. We're going to scratch off uh, Epcot. So thing that man, this is such a hard question because I'm really, I'm really, I'm really into this. I'm really into this, guys. I have to, I have to figure this out. So Kilimanjaro Safari comes to mind. Kilimanjaro Safari, if I'm not mistaken, is the size of Magic Kingdom. Okay, and we're gonna scratch off uh, Disneyland Paris, um, and their whatever next door park, which is trash. Um, <laughs> I don't hold back. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Kilimanjaro Safari here. And then I'm gonna go to California Adventure. That's right, we're going to California Adventure, and I'm gonna put uh, cars. I'm gonna put cars there. Reason being, that's a huge attraction. Um, I would say it's actually bigger than Expedition Everest in square like footage. Okay. And but oh man, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up against two attractions: Kilimanjaro Sarf. So I'm gonna put that up on. I'm gonna put that there, and then my top three now. And then I'm going to say Mount Prometheus from Tokyo, from Tokyo. So that's Disney Seas. So that's the big volcano with the ride inside of it. So I'm going to elevate that. And then what's our third? What's our third? What's our third? The permit office is open. <laughs> it is open. It is open, guys. It is Sunday and he is in there right now. Unfortunately, I haven't f finished my paperwork yet. I know it's open, right? <sighs> it's only going to be open for 30 minutes. I made a mistake. I should have been recording videos instead of streaming. Oh, he's on his lunch break. Never mind, guys. It's okay. Um, all right. I'm going to say the biggest ride that Disney has is Kilimanjaro Safari by square footage. By cost, it was probably Mount Prometheus. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's Kilimanjaro. Uh, Disney Awards, Disney Awards. Okay, uh, yes, the legends were announced. I'm gonna I'm gonna make everybody hate me right now. I, I can't stand the Disney Legend Awards. The Disney Legend Awards was designed to honor people who don't get honored. 
if that makes sense. The people behind the scenes, the artists, the people who don't get any credits, the people who are buried in the credits on the bottom of movies, or Imagineers who don't get credit at all for their creations and what they do for the company. In the recent years, to just build hype and just to make it into just another hype spectacular, they decide to give awards to celebrities in this case, celebrities who don't care about this award. They just, you know, they just bring in random celebrities who may have like a very peripheral um, contribution to Disney. The Disney Legend Award was meant for people who spent their entire lives working for the company and creating animated movies, who created the, you know, theme park rides. This award was supposed to honor people who don't get honored. And now it is all about just who the, the hottest celebrity is and throw them in there. And it is wildly frustrating and because it's just sad because it just turned into just like this dumb, like celebrity spotting game. And if you looked back at the old Legends Awards, they were all animators, Imagineers, and people who created like technical achievements that changed industry. And now it's just, hey, celebrity, celebrity, oh my God, celebrity, celebrity who has literally nothing to do with the company. James Cameron has nothing to do with Disney. He has nothing to do with Disney. He was acquired, his, 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 his Pandora movie was acquired by Disney. He has nothing to do with Disney. It's frustrating because that award should be given to people like Joe Rohde. And that's, an, that's somebody who, who, who doesn't get honored at all these stupid, you know, celebrity award shows. And this is the way of honoring somebody who spent their entire life making great attractions for people. And when it's just became like celebrity spotting, like, oh my God, did you see there's a celebrity? And it's like, who cares? These people, they have enough attention. We need to give the people behind the scenes who actually make the, the movies, who make the theme park attractions an actual, uh, an award and some recognition. Sorry, I get wildly annoyed by this. <laughs> and it used to be such a low key event. And mostly the people who were, were nominated, this was never televised. It was just something internally in the company they used to do. And then, you know, it, it was just, it was like a family event because everybody being awarded was part of the family. Everybody there, high five and pats on the back, firm handshakes, you know? It was a, like, a, like a, you know, a very like interior Disney thing. And then they became the big like, oh, let's just make this another stupid hype thing. Let's, let's go say that we're gonna build all these rides, but we're only blue skying them because we're never actually gonna make it because we gotta feed we got to feed the hype cycle. We got to feed the hype cycle. We don't want to we don't want to not feed the hype cycle because everything in this in this world now is feeding the hype cycle. We can't just have like a low key award ceremony to just give people who created a lot of great things and invented things and all that stuff of five minutes of of a pat on the back, firm handshakes, hugs. No, it's all got to be celebrities. I'm done. 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 Does, was green shirt red concrete or was it uh, or was it terracotta? Which one was it, guys? Ha. <sighs> went on my rant. Went on my rant. Now I'm coming down off my rant. <laughs> I, I am, this is, there's things that, there's things to me that I, uh, that, that I'll die on a hill on in the legend ceremony being turned into just a, like a, just a hype machine and celebrity spotting is, is a hill that I will die on. <laughs> All right, let's see, which, yeah, I, th I think a red terracotta works for green shirt, right? It's wide green, by the way, so we... <laughs> I think that'll work for him. Okay, so what else do we need? Um, I think we just need some white concrete. We need some uh, green concrete. And I think we'll probably be good. I think we're probably being... We're actually getting really close to being done. Uh, this has been the weirdest, like, harvesting fest that I've had of finding very random materials here. Unknown 5372 cheered X300. Hey Scar, I always love your passion, so I am a tiny bit sad that I have to go sleep now. So good night, everyone, and have an amazing stream. Unknown, uh, have a have a great sleep, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for coming out for a little Scar rant. 
Brought to you by Scar Rants. <laughs> oh, gosh. I am glad that Joe Rody's getting recognition. That's people who should get recognized. <laughs> All right, I was hoping to find some uh, some green dye, but at least we have some cooking. At least we've got some cooking. Oh, perfect. That's all we really needed anyway. Okay, I do think we need a, a decent emit more black concrete. It looks like we need more black concrete. All right, so we can make some more of that. A lot of shoes were made out of black concrete, apparently. Grab that. Sweet. And if anything looks wonky or donkey, wonky donkey. <laughs> it's a weird word. Um, then we can. Um... Oh, Mubbo drone arrives. Let me take care of that. All right, all right. What's a happy topic, guys? I got. I went on. I went on a, went on a, a rant. I want a positive. I want a positive topic. What, what's a positive topic? I want my, my deep Disney rant. High scar. Just wanted to thank you for the amazing content. Me and my GF really love your videos. I love her streams, and as a disabled person, they really inspire me to follow my dreams. Oh, that's very nice. That's that's very nice. Thank you for uh, the nice message. Very very much appreciated, my friend. Skiz and Tango. What, what about Skiz and Tango? Are they on? Is it, is the positive topic that they're that they're back and they're about to make videos again? That's exciting. I'm excited about that. That no Christmas. That is not a happy topic at all. That's not a happy topic in the slightest. Even Ethos desk. <laughs> I think I've said this before in a stream or or wherever. I thought that was fake and or was like somebody just made that up or there was like a. I don't know, AI. <laughs> I was like, there's zero chance that's real. And no, I was proven wrong. That that literally was Ethos desk. It was so exciting. But on the other hand, it also made it less weird, right? When you saw Ethos desk in real life, it was less weird than the way he described it. Three dollars. Yeah, let's talk about protons. Let's talk about protons. Sounds like, are we going to talk about a journey through inner space? Is that where we're going? Is that where we're going? Minecraft needs birds for ambiance. That's true. Uh, there isn't a lot of flying creatures in Minecraft, right? What flying creatures do we have? We have the phantom. We have a bat. I mean, we have the parrot, which kind of flutters. 300. So complete restart on Star Wars hmm. universe. What would you like to see for Star Wars? What would I like to see for Star Wars? Um, we once brainstormed an entire TV show for Star Wars, and it revolved around um, stormtroopers, and it was super cool. And it like had this like very like interior look at stormtroopers, like why they join, um, what they did as stormtroopers, and then some of them kind of being like, <laughs> "Are we the baddies?" Um, so stuff like that. I, I would have loved to have seen. I, I would love to see something like that. Okay, where do we put? Where do we put it, guys? Where do we put the sewer cats? Where do sewer cats appear at? Where do they appear at? <laughs> I kind of feel like the sewer cats need to be in an alleyway, an alleyway, an alleyway. So this could be cool here. Wait, Scar has his procs off. I can't. Oh, sorry, Gem. I'm sorry. Okay, hit me with the gem. Hit me. Hit me. Oh my god. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is a really good spot for it, right? They're the, they're kind of the sewer cats, the alley cats, right? <laughs> I think this could be like a really good spot for it. What do you guys think? I don't know. Now I'm having indecision. I'm having indecision, guys. Not indigestion, indecision. Terry Glow's cheered X300 positive topic. Scar, please talk about how excited you are to build your Lego stitch soon. Maybe today in honor of Regulus' birthday. <sighs> Burns my fingers, guys. This is hard on me. Am I going to use scissors on Is that even allowed? I hope you are doing great. I always love watching what new things you are working up in you. Question, what's your favorite block to work with? What's my favorite what? Oh, favorite block to work with. Wow, that's a great question. I mean, I really have to contain myself sometimes with copper. I, I have to remind myself not to overdo copper. 
all the time. Look at this, guys. We're opening the Lego box. We're opening it. We're pulling out the Lego bits. I'm pulling them out. It's happening. It's happening. Things are happening. It's working, Reg. It's happening. It's happening. You know what I said? Uh, using scissors on stream. I still have like flashbacks to not be able to use scissors. Oh, you're right. That's actually a really good point. The colors of the sewer cats would complement B-Dubs' build. Dub's side is the poorer slash rundown side, so sewer cat vibes would work well over there. You guys are smart. You guys are smart. That that's a hundred percent true. Gray scales cheered X three hundred and fifty. The sewer cats would probably fit better on the side with Dub's building, since it's supposed to be lower class and rundown. I think. Whoops. <laughs> Hey guys, look, distract yourselves. Oh my gosh, look, Scarlet and Dark Book. Let's open a random page. Let's open a random page. This is incredible. Look. Oh, oh. <laughs> what, what did I spoil, by the way? Chip cheered X300. Scar, a couple of days ago I had a dream that you were playing MCC. Oh my God. So now I am really hoping MCC happens soon. I hope Who MCC happens to soon too, my friend. Back. I'm really looking forward to MCC again. The last like the last like three weeks, I'm like, man, I kind of miss MCC. Like I, I want to play Rocket Spleef again and hang out with people that, I you know, I don't get to talk to very much. You were into drawing slash painting. Have you got back into it recently? And would you ever show us some of your art again? Maybe. It's a work in progress. Base drawings were really cool. It's a work in progress. What did I spoil, by the way, guys? What did I spoil out there? Do you know what I spoiled? Did I spoil Joel's base? Did he have some stuff? Jam, what did I spoil? I spoiled nothing. Oh, okay. Was was Jem just being a rapscallion? Jam, what did I spoil? Queen Tail I 1994 tipped three dollars. Hey oh. Scar, I'm building my own version of the Forbidden Forest on a server I'm on. Since you're the tree man, what type of tree should I use? Or if it's a custom one, could you show me how to make one? Um, a forbidden forest. Okay. I would, okay, with a, with a forbidden forest, um, I would, well, obviously, I mean, right off the bat, you want to try to use something darker. So using a, a darker tone uh, if you're going to go with with an actual like bark, right? I mean, there's other blocks you can use. That's not like an actual wood log block for a build. But what I'm trying to like envision how I would do it. I mean, if I if I had the power of like different blocks, I would use gray. Well, I don't know. It would have to be brownish grays. But I would use I would just make it easy. I would start with like a, a dark oak, and then all the the trees need to be. <sighs> like thick at the base, right? With like huge root systems and then span very, very tall upwards. Gem songs tip um, $50. Now that you have opened the box, please make sure you build it instead of finding it in the circular file. <laughs> circular file. <laughs> circular file. Oh, that's funny. Man, I actually don't know the dimensions at all on some of these things. I think we were all three except for wide green. <laughs> Let's let's do something like this. Gray scales cheered X four hundred. According to chat, the spoiler is Impulse's new building. Oh so well, you guys got really excited. You're like, dude. On stream the other day. Impulse is making something new. I'm very excited. And then you're like, I can't wait for Impulse's next video. I'm gonna check his his channel every day now. That's that's because you saw it. You saw it on here, and you're like, dang, cannot wait. See, see how that works. Oh, this is going to look kind of wonky from the outside. I didn't realize that there was... Man, it's hard to find a good spot for something. 
that's okay. I think this one looks this one will look cool from the inside because it's very like abstract in its design. Well, it'll look really hunk, really really dorky on the outside if it's just like half a head. Why is this taking so long? How long are we into this stream and I haven't got anything done? Dginch tipped three dollars. Could you explain the rules and premise of Hermitcraft? Found your channel via Gemini Day. Gemini Day. Jim's great. Um, what is the premise behind Hermitcraft? Um, I once explained it to Mojang as we took Minecraft survival to the extreme in all the best possible ways from building to redstone contraptions to storytelling. That's how I explained it to Mojang once. So maybe that works. <laughs> maybe that works. Let's see if there's a better spot because it looks wonky if you just see like half of Impulse's head. This could be a good spot right here. But that's probably okay. Impulse's head is just gonna float. <laughs> just looking for any other better spots. I don't know. How would you guys? Uh, how would you guys? Uh, maybe right here, actually. This could be a good spot right here, maybe. I don't know. I, I kind of like where we're at. Let's just let's just commit to it. Um, yeah, that's how I explained it once. So I'm gonna stick to that. I'm gonna stick to that. There we go. Impulse is now being installed. Sewer cat number one is being installed. Sewer cat number one is officially in the world. There we go. And then put that like that. If this is dumb, I can always just move it. Um, but for now, I'm going to I'm going to put it here. This is a very easy thing to move. So I think that'll work out really good. And this is perfect right here for wide green. So <laughs> wide green is going to fit perfect in this spot right here. Um, so if you don't remember, these these designs were, let's see, how wide is green? He's one, two, three, four. Okay, so he's a four. He's four. So one, two, three, four. Oh, perfect. That's going to work out great. Um, these designs were um, me replacing the South Park characters <laughs> with, uh, with what I kind of like devised as uh, the sewer cats. So I went like that and then like that and then red shirt up here like so. Oh, we're making progress finally. This is good. This is good. But it's going to be kind of wonky because there's these pillars in the way. I think I'm being a perfectionist and I shouldn't be doing this. I should just commit to it and just finish it. It's fine. It'll be okay. Thank you for the encouragement. This is why I never get anything done. I spend hours revising, tearing down, designing. And when I do anything improv these days, I just become like stone. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I overthink everything to the extreme. And that's that's my greatest Achilles heel of my mind is that I overthink. Now, sometimes overthinking is good. Sometimes it can save you can save you in a lot of scenarios, but other times it will send you into a spiral of never getting anything done because you second guess every single thing and you see a thousand paths in front of you, but you never can choose the one you want. Where's your dirt? That's a great question. No customers. Oh, no, 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 not the permit office closed. No. I needed the permit office today, but I was going to stream and I was going to do the graffiti and then I was going to go over there and oh, I got to wait another week. I'm just going to steal some dirt from over here. I can't believe it. I can't believe the permit office is closed. Gem underscore Marchiard Dex 300, a couple things. Firstly, please make B dubs shorter than the rest if you're including him lol also. On the topic of your drawings, don't put down your art. Not only does everyone start somewhere, but your art is genuinely good. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I hate that there's one, two, and two. Why is this bothering me, guys? Why is this bothering me? <laughs> Why is this bothering me? 
It should be spaced out by one block for each section. It's bothering me. Make green wider? <laughs> it actually is a good idea. That might be that might be the way we fix this problem. <laughs> that might be the hey friend, you 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 stay up there and uh, I'm gonna be down here. This this literally might be my my ticket to fixing my problem here. This is you guys are genius by the way, just absolutely genius, and I appreciate you. And I'm already out of black. I told you guys I was gonna need a lot of it. Genius, genius, genius guys. It's fantastic. Thank you. What would I do without you? What would I do without you guys? That's a real, that's a good question, right? It's a great question. I'm looking at myself and I'm realizing I don't have stuff that I need from myself. So I'm gonna go make that real quick. Is there a bed around? <laughs> Is there a bed in a crafting bench? Skiz, do you have a bed around the corner here? Why is no, where does no, why does anybody sleep? Why doesn't anybody sleep? Grand, do you have a bed? Oh, he does. He has a bed. He's a bed. He's a bed. Nice. That was a 10 out of 10 land, by the way. I'd like to see some 10 out of 10s in the chat. There we go. Sweet. Oh, he has a crafting bench over here. All right. What other positive topics can we have, guys? What what other, what where's some more positive comments or topics? <laughs> After going on my extreme, uh, after going on my extreme uh, rants, I got I got to mix in a little positivity. <laughs> um, Star Trek. Hey, I uh, subscribe to Paramount Plus, and I plan on watching Next Generation. I'm excited about that. I have not watched Star Trek Next Generation since I was on a ventilator in 20. 27 and 28 or 2007 and 2000 2007 and 2008 um so i'm excited i'm excited i'm gonna uh i'm, gonna, I'm excited to watch that again uh, that will be a really fun um that's gonna be a really fun um i'll watch through so i loved i loved it i absolutely loved watching it before and it was one of those shows that uh kind of kept me going during a real rough time okay so i think what we're doing next Actually, I don't know what we're doing next. Oh, I know what we're doing next. Wait, is that? Wait, Belt oh, I don't have this brown terracotta. Doors. Okay, Dude I got gotcha. you. You have to watch Star Trek, the lower decks. O-M-G. O-M-G? I've heard Joe talk about the lower decks a lot. Um, Sir Joseph of Nashville, Tennessee. I've heard him talk about it um, quite fondly. So um, that will be a show I'll, I'll add to the list. You've been watching Voyager? I like Voyager. Sometimes Voyager gets a bad rap, but I I I liked it. Wow, the lag is just ridiculous today. I don't really feel other people having this block lag like I do. What has been going on with this? Why don't I ever have any materials? I need a crafting bench. B-dubs, you have a crafting bench? You do. Beautiful man in those eyes. Just a shining glimmer of hope. Anonymous tipped three dollars. The community you have fostered is so talented and wonderful. I am so excited for the Scarland art book and projects Huffin and Cocobats are involved in like hot guy comics. Like the character comics. and builds you've made are so compelling you have two big projects. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm also very ex This lag is really annoying. Uh, I am very excited about the Scarland art book. I Belt cannot wait for you guys to see it. Gem is in the lower decks. They call her Mariner. Who? Gem is in the lower decks. They call her Mar Mariner. I mean, our gem? Our gem is great. Wait, not literally, but is there a character like Gem? I'm so confused. Which is not uncommon. Underscore therapy cheered X300. I remember I had to watch Star Trek for an acting camp and I refused to watch it because I thought it was for nerds. Lol, should I watch it now since I've grown? <laughs> Oh, I don't like the spacing. The spacing just feels awkward on these characters. Oh well, well, let's just get them down. Let's get let's get them down, and then if we want to make any adjustments, we can. We can make those adjustments. Easy, easy. We can do that. 
The green is bigger? Is the green bigger? No. No, the red one's bigger. Because that's wide green. <laughs> that's wide green. Uh, make the, the green one wider. Um, yeah, we could do that. I see what you mean now. I understand what you were referring to now. Uh, we could try that. And that still keeps green wide because that it's very important we maintain green's wideness. <laughs> uh, do we have any more green? We do. Okay. 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 I see what you guys were throwing down. That looks so much better. See? See? This is why, this is why I love you guys. This is why I love you. This is why I appreciate you. <laughs> this is why I appreciate you. This is... I need you guys around all the time when I need to make a decision. You're like... All right, Scar, you're overthinking right now. We just need to make a decision. We need to get this done. Uh, yeah, I think Green ended up being Carmen when we were converting these from the South Park characters to uh, to our characters. Now, nah, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is looking fantastic. Uh, Chicken plays. Thank you for the prime. Much appreciated. T. Okay, thank you so much for the eight month resubscription. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Doug177, thank you for the 16 months. Much appreciated. Sweet. Loaf tipped three dollars. Loving the stream. For your block lag, try disabling always defer chunk updates in video settings. And definitely watch lower decks. It's great. Uh, disable always defer chunk updates. Well, now you got me all interested in stuff. Where do I find that? <laughs> Where does one find, um, always defer chunk updates? Small B-dubs? Well, we'll play around with B-dubs' size. What if we just make a big B-dubs? We, we defy the, we defy the, uh, the norm. Where is it, guys? King, King, King tipped $3. Hi, Scar. Have you come up with the idea for your sand shop? I think a Monopoly Mountain theme would be cool considered it's a Monopoly on sand. That's a good point right there. That's a good point. That's a great point. I don't know. I just don't see it. I don't see defer. Hmm. Well, yeah, let me know. Let me know where it is I in there. I tipped $3, seconding the lower decks wreck. Also, I'm a bit biased since I wrote on it, but I do recommend Star Trek Picard after TNG 2, specifically season 3. I've heard about this. Wait, you wrote on that? That's amazing. I've heard I've heard good things. I've heard very good things about about the uh, about the reunion. Um, so I have I have to I have to watch that um, because it's it's the it's a majority of the original cast, right? I gotta watch that. Gotta watch that. All right, what what are, what other positive topics do we want? <laughs> uh, other positive comments. Anonymous tipped three dollars. Two questions for you. First, what is your boundaries on shipping? I'm pretty sure Dubs has talked to you about this before, but this is just a clarification. And second, give me your favorite South Park episode. Yeah, I'm definitely a UPS guy. FedEx has let me down too many times, and they send way too many emails when then something's coming. Also, I'm going to say it, Postal Service, not a big fan right now. Not a big fan. They lost my mom's passport. It was a whole thing. It was a whole debacle. And then when they sent back these supporting documents, they lost that too. Kind of weird. Felt like it wasn't a coincidence anymore. Felt like uh, a little bit of shenanigans. Also, I was supposed to get a box from the postal service. Lost it. They lost it. They lost it. So yeah, I'm a UPS guy through and through. Um, it's nice that the UPS guys, they got a nice big raise too. So that was nice to see. Um, so yeah, big, 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 uh, big fan of UPS. I'm 252 tipped $5. Does this give me a voice? La 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 la. Love the scar. There we go. Oh, look at B dubs. All right, we'll we'll make B dubs normal size, and then we'll decide like height wise and stuff that we can um, that we can change and stuff like that. No, that will be good. Birdman two hundred and six cheered X three hundred. Don't tell Pearl that. Don't tell. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't tell Pearl. Well, nobody compete. Nobody can compete with the Hermit Post Office system. No, no, that's that that. I don't think they've lost the package yet. Three hundred. I wonder if the postal service lost your package and your mom's passport when the mine cart went through the Nether portal. <laughs> I think there was also a le there was like two letters. Um, I think there was two letters. And, uh, yeah, I think there was a few other things. It was, it was absolutely insane. We had to get the postmaster on it. That's right. I can never get over the fact that they call them the postmaster. Like, it just confuses me and delights me and intrigues me all at once. When I, when I see somebody referred to as the postmaster, just hilarious to me. Uh, the, the sign literally in the, on their door says postmaster. And at the, in the parking lot, there's a sign at the, at the, at the parking spot. It says Postmaster only parking. <laughs> I love it. Oh, look at these. These look great. These look great. Looks a little wonky right there. I hate the three block spacing there. That bothers me. That bothers me. But we could fix that. How do I make beat shorter, by the way? Make them more wide? <laughs> No, because this one would be this one wouldn't wouldn't scale right, I don't think. Um How would I make V dub shorter? Just by head? Just make his head yeah. small? <gasps> what was that? What was that? What was that word? I heard a word. I heard a word. What was that? That scared me. I felt like that was in my room. What was that? That was hor hor that was horrific. That was horrific. That was so scary. Ah, oh, look at Joel's base. Looks so pretty in the sunset. Anyway, whew. what was that? I swear I thought somebody was Regular behind me. Three dollars. It's underperformanced. Ab. Also, chat was screaming that you have a search. My name is Jeff. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Chat, what is that? Is that Cub? Cub? Where is he? What is that? Is that a horn? Oh, I, I just came up with a solution to my problem. That's just Jeff. Who's Jeff? Who's Jeff? Look at this, guys. Look at this. 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 I'm a bit of a rap scallion. Don't tell Impulse I did this or beat ups. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. All right. What? What is? What, who is Jeff? And why are they? Why are they in my ear? Is this something I'm seeing vines? I never got into vine. I never did. I never, I never got into vine. So am I missing something? I never got into vine. What, what, how, what, what, what is Jeff guys? It's an old meme. It's from a movie. Oh, I don't know what, what, what it's from. <laughs> right. It starts stripping babies. There he is. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Nobody's going to notice. And now it all looks correct. Cub, look at this. Look at this. I fixed it. I fixed the scaling issues. <laughs> right. Let's start stripping, babies. <laughs> and he takes off the clothes. I'll, I'll join you. I'll join you. What is this? What is this, Scar? Uh, these are the sewer cats. It's an homage to season six. Um... Corrales had graffiti in his base under uh, an overpass, and I replaced the, what was the South Park characters with silhouettes of Impulse, Gria, and myself, and B-Dubs. Mm -hmm. They're the mm -hmm. sewer cats. We are the sewer cats. Cats of the deep, dark underworld. Okay. Nothing? And you thought that? You thought that would be good for graffiti here? I, I kind of did. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. He, he doesn't like it, guys. It's fine. It's fine. It's not good. 
There's Guys, no, he there's hates no wa- it. There's no waffle on the back of Brian's head. He That's hates it. Problem. He hates it so no much. Waffle. No waffle. Maybe you should have like a Sewer Cats like logo. My heart is broken, Cub. I I didn't I didn't get the reference. So I, that's, that's why I didn't. <laughs> Cub, what's the your favorite shipping on, company? They're on the sewer. They're on the surface, and they're not cats. So the favorite shipping company? It's got to be the East a- East Indian Trading Company, baby. Oh wow, that's a callback. Old school, old school. Yep, back to the old country and the true. old ways. True, I'm but they sunk them in parts of the Caribbean. That's true. <laughs> it's also true. What happened to the glass? Oh, it's gone. Wait. Oh, jeez. If p sees this, he's going to be mad. Oh, you picked it up. He's a perfectionist. Look at this beautiful interior. You'd love to see it here. Eh? I, we got we to gotta believe in b He's going to get in He's going to get in here. He's going to get a big old car in there. I told <laughs> B-Dubs, this, this building reminds me of a building in PUBG. It's just, it's so like laid out like a PUBG building where you have like a few little levels. You have a lot of vantage points out windows. It just reminds me of a PUBG building. <laughs> That's what he's making here, right? PUBG in Minecraft? I guess. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Um, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. But it does feel like an FPS layout for like a, a game. Oh, I mean, they are building a, a game after all, but it just, it feel it has the vibe of a game layout. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they even did the roof here. Yeah. That's, it just has that, uh, that feel to it. Did you ever play PUBG, Cub? <laughs> no, I didn't play PUBG. <laughs> what is that laugh? <laughs> It was one of those, it was another flash in the pan FPS thing, you know? Yeah, it's Had true. All sorts of issues and lots of issues. Crazy people playing. <sighs> it, was, it was fun for a while, but it seemed like, uh, it seemed like it was not, not my, not my scene. He just says you, you know? dominated it. <laughs> not quite. Not so quite. Like I was, you I was, know, being a little, uh, I was more of an Overwatch guy. Oh, you were an Overwatch guy. Back when that was actually good. Yeah. Back when that didn't they they killed that right with with some nonsense, or what what happened? With um, that? Somebody told me that they, they they killed it and they didn't want to talk about it. And I was like, they killed the first one and then they made a second one and then they made it free to play and there was all sorts of issues with it and free to play. Anymore. But that also means like everybody's walking around in like wild costumes, I assume. Yeah, it got Fortniteified. Yep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Like, I don't mind, like, the costumes fit, right? Like, Fortnite, it fits. It's just kind of its thing, it's it's it's, it's jam, whatever. But when they brought those costume styles to Call of Duty or, like, actual, like, you know, more realistic military-type things, oh, it's the worst. Like, when Battlefield, like, yeah, had, yeah. like, Santa skins going around, I'm, that's, I'm just like, I can't, I won't, and I don't want to be a part of this. I feel like they should have picked the theme and stayed with it, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It does feel like lately that a lot of game companies, you know, a little bit of silly gooses. They, I rather pay for the game now, realizing now in this day and age, I rather pay for it than you know have all these like extras, you know. Mhm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, I never played Overwatch. I did play PUBG. I I had fun playing with a few friends. Like I, I played it a little good, bit. It was good. Yeah. It it was fun until the bots came. The bots. Yeah, I don't remember the bots, so maybe I must have made it out before the bots. I think so. Yeah, but now I've, I've heard that there's a lot of bots. And I played it with of... Iskull, Stress, Ren, and False a few times way back. Speaking of uh, season six, wow, we'd have to go back to the season six world. Uh, I played it with them yeah, a few yeah. times. Uh, wait, that was so long ago. Wow. Yeah, yeah, they were. They they got really into it. I know Iskull got really into it. Oh yeah, he was way into it. Um, he was really he was he got pretty good too. I think. Well, he is he has a knack for uh, like FPS. Is I think he he played something like competitively a game way back in the day, if I'm not mistaken. Scar, you remember you remember uh, Bow Truck, right? <laughs> I do remember Bow Truck. Yes. <laughs> Bow Truck. Oh, it was Those Quake. 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 Ah, uh, yeah. Quake was good. Yeah. Well, what, what happens in the back of, of Bo's truck stays in the back of Bo's truck. <laughs> Very true. Very true. All right, hit us with another horn, Cub. Chat, what's another horn? <laughs> right, let's start stripping, babies. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you find the, the clip that I sent you from the podcast? Uh, I did. I did find. I did see it. Yeah, we got to make a it. horn of that one. That's a good one. 
Yeah, that is, that is a good one. Yeah. Trying there also, I was told there is another funny sure. impulse quote from the hot hot ones that he did with Skiz and himself. There's like a. There's a somebody said it to me. It's like the, <laughs> don't put that in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, that's a classic one. It's a classic one. Don't put that in my mouth. Scar, how much ballpark estimate? How much would you pay for this one? Don't put that in my mouth. Where's my ender chest? You have an ender chest. You have you have an ender chest. Oh, yeah. You're a professional. I literally have one diamond to my name. <laughs> what? You got you got. I saw the whole chest of oh, diamonds. That, that's, got... that's for a, that's for a, a, a or a mountain. But I literally right. have one diamond. That's okay, let's I... say you had a bunch of diamonds. How? Because I'm thinking, Scar, I think I got to make these exclusive to people, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to sign a contract that says you could only you and only you can have Certified this, right? Because otherwise people are going to copy these. It's going to be a whole thing. Oh, you don't want that. You don't want that. No, no, no. We got to have exclusive horns. Yeah, you got to right? NFT it. NFT it, exactly. <laughs> yes. Now you're thinking with NFTs. <laughs> oh, God, you remember those stupid things? Yeah. Okay, I would say you sign the contract and each one 64 diamonds. You go all out. These are exclusive. Yeah, yeah. These are valuable. 64 diamonds. Yep. Yep. I think you I think you got it. I think you got it. So yeah, I think uh I think that's I think that's the ticket. Also, yep. could could you put that ender chest down one more time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me put my one diamond away. There we go. Thank you. Woo. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Now, what you working on, Cub? Good question. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. <laughs> uh, right now, not much. Not much. I'm just like debating what to do. You know. I, you the... know, I've been doing that all week. I've been doing that this, all week. This is what I've been doing. The jump. jump oh my god! Pacing. Really? That? Wait, you do that too? Okay. Wait, Cub, fly to the train yeah. real quick. Fly to the train. This is important. Oh. Okay. Oops, hold on. Oops. I stripped and I need to put my clothes back on. Okay. Yeah, put on the wings. <laughs> I don't know how I survived that. That almost was a disaster. A world? It's like a little flower for me. Oh! Okay, this is really important, guys. This is really important. All right, we're here. We're here. Okay. Cub, when I when I don't know what to do, I do this. Circumnavigate the coal car. Yep. Uh, I'm not hitting <laughs> all the jumps this time. I'm not hitting them. I'm, I'm clumsy. I'm failing oh, at my jumps. Oh, I, f I failed at every one of my parkours. But yeah, no, that's this is literally what I do when I don't know what to do with myself. I just I just I just do that over and over. Mm, wise. Wise. Cub, are you looking forward to MCC coming back at some point? Yeah, it's been a few months. It's been a few months. Hasn't it? It has been a few months. I'm looking forward to whenever that comes back. Yeah, I'm very interested to see what, if they have any new games. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's not as cool with the wings, but still, I made it over. I made it over. Come, I made it. This is literally what I do. I, I, I walk those circles. I walk this circle when I'm procrastinating. Mm-hmm, yeah. It's a good exercise. Oh, Cub, you might know. Uh, Cleo mentioned I forgot when it was, but she said there was something else to do with the uh, armor stand mod, like like a like a poser or or something or other. Mm, I don't know. Cleo said know something that. that there was like an, an extra to the armor stand thing, uh, but I couldn't figure out what that was. I have no idea. Maybe a, maybe there's a mod that goes with it or something that helps you position them. I'm guessing. Put down Put an, down armor, an stand. armor stand. Shift click it. Ooh. Zuma's helping us. Ooh. What what is it? What is it? Yes. Yeah, shift click it. There's something. Ooh, some premium high flyers. There we go. Let's Dude, see. I have so many of your fireworks. <laughs> um Do you have an armor stand? No, but I'm making one. Okay. 
Wait, I can't make them out of bricks. I can tell you that. That's one thing I do know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got this, Cub. We got this. This is big. This is big. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm, zoom I'm out. I'm placing down. This is. Yep. Okay. Yep. Shift click. Skizzly Wizzly Man. Skizzle Man. What? What are we? What are you feeling? What? How, do you, are we doing it? I don't, I don't know what's supposed to be happening. Zuma, we need you. Zuma, <laughs> Code Red, we need you. You oh, have it's a mod. Oh, jeez. Oh, ah. Oh. All right. Well, I'll put that we on got all later. Got excited for nothing. Me too. Let's yeah, go see what, what Skiz up to. Let's go. Skiz will save us. Dude, I broke treachery. the crossbow you gave me, so I can't shoot him with the with the fireworks. Oh no! You got to get another one. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm. Green said he had uh, some uh, uh, magic books. Let's see if I can get one from him. Oh, yeah. I might have some, like, regular crossbows at my... How do you make my, a crossbow? Uh, oh, you left. No, it's okay. We, we're we here for the Maslow Pier and Pyramid of Needs anyway. You know. Yeah. Is there a basement to the Maslow Pyramid of Needs? <laughs> that's where I'm at, that's where I'm at the, in life. The Hold Maslow on. Pyramid of Fun is what's there, underneath. This is me. <laughs> what is, oh, there's a thing here. There's a... Oh, there's a... There's see, a yeah. Oh, there is something. It's like a beacon thing. Man, all we wanted to do is just say hi to Skiz. Yeah. So sad. So disappointing. Been gone for weeks. It's true. That's true. Oh, this is a cool trick he did here. Did you see this? What? The little uh, glow lichen to uh, part the water with. Dude, it's so water. it's so peculiar what what parts water and doesn't. Yeah, that is a good that is a good. Um, that is I wouldn't have known that. I would have thought glow lichen would have got washed away by water. Yeah, you would think. You would think. So this is it's where you though. where you enter and Skiz then probes your mind. I guess so. Is he going to be like a psychiatrist for people on the server? Is that what's going on? Does here? that man have a psychiatrist skin? He need he'll need one with glasses and he he put them down on like the bridge of his nose. Yep, yep, he's got to have a couch here. A couch? Yep. <laughs> have a notepad with him, write down some notes, you know. Oh, you know what he needs, right? He needs, like, a like make the whole room just completely black. You know, So, completely black, then a light mm -hmm. source hanging down over the couch. Then he's kind of in the shadows, like, Tell me about your childhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I think it'd be pretty like funny. Mm-hmm. I gonna be what in tarnation? Did these come pre pre chest or did they, do you have to put the chest on them? You gotta put the chest on. Oh okay. I always wondered if they came pre. I don't think I've ever made a raft. Well, I actually have made a raft. That's uh, what I'm thinking about. I have made a raft. <laughs> do you stand up or sit on a raft? Missed opportunity. Mhm. Mm you could have. Yeah, they could have given us. Giving us like an oar, like a proper oar. This is how this is how you should have um, done the raft. That would have been way cooler. Stand up on it. Yep. Yeah, that would have been cool. Then, the, what, then if you have two people in it, it would look kind of weird, though. Two people standing in the raft. That would be weird. That could be weird. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Did they make any but, modifications to the mace in the snapshots? You know, the big hammer, hammer thing. Um, in no, this week. No. No changes. They're leaving it pretty much. It seems. Are they? Are they? Are they sending it with that texture? He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. Let's go. He's back. I don't know. I'm not sure. Is he here? He might not be here. He might Skiz. not be. Skiz. We lost him. We lost him, Cub. <laughs> it's probably like me and you log out like thousands of blocks away, and you're just like, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know where I'm at. I don't know how I got here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, what are our... Ooh, Cub, Cub, Wandering Trader. Wandering Trader, Wandering Trader, Wandering Trader. Oh, ooh. Ah, but I don't have any emeralds. What a bummer. Um, okay, what do we think, guys? What do we think? What do we think of the sewer cats? Um, I do feel like the sewer cats needs like a bit of a background. Does that make sense? Oh, I oh he logged out in the shopping district. Did he log out on the igloo? I figured he logged out on the igloo. Um, I feel like it could use like some colors, right? 
like maybe some some like sewery colors, maybe some lime green in the background, I think could be kind of cool. Um, just to kind of represent the the sewer cats. Uh, green gooey background like the sewer. Yeah, I think that could be cool. So what I, what I would I'm trying to figure out how how to how to do that. It's, I, Um, what? <laughs> it's abstract, Cub. <laughs> I think what I might try, Cub, is taking uh, lime lime glass and doing like a layer here, and then have a background, uh, like a background too, up against it, like of green or something, just to kind of like make a little bit of a like a sewery, smelly vibe. How deep is it? Oh, it's too, it's more than too deep there. Okay. It might. It, it, yeah, that that would that might give it more context. I think. Yeah. But that could help it. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that would work. Yeah, I think. Put the, I think put the that sewer would. cats in the sewers. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would yeah. be cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that would work. I think that would work. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, good luck with that. Good luck. With I know. I just I'm think, wait till I find those materials. It's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> All right. See you, man. See ya. Where's Skiz? Where's Skiz? Where's Skizzy Wizzy Wiz? Where's Skizzy Wizzy Wiz? Wiz Wiz? Skizzy Skizzy Wizzy Wiz? Wiz Wiz? I bet he logged in right on top of his, uh, of his igloo. There's shingles. We know we're, we know we're on track here. Where'd he go? He was here like two seconds ago. Skizzy! skizzy yo. Hey, buddy! Oh, Skizzy! Where are you? <laughs> where are you? <laughs> I've been like six inches behind you for like not long. You were, dude, you were right here. Uh huh. And I was standing right here. Oh! <laughs> Skiz, you're back. About. I am back. My did you friend. have a good trip? I did. I had a good trip, and uh, I'm gonna be, uh, except for one bad piece of evidence that or uh, piece of news, I'll be sharing with the crew. And you know, I'm streaming right now. Mm -hmm, I'll mm -hmm. be sharing with the crowd in uh, not too long. Okay. Okay. From now, okay. as you can imagine, where is it? Uh, Nothing how, how, happened uh, to your head of hair, right? Head, head of hair, still good. <laughs> still good. Keeping that, keeping it above above board. I think it got. I think it got a little thinner, buddy. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, that's the wrong one. Hold on. Uh, but I, I stopped up. over to let you know. I got something cooking, okay. Skiz. It's like on a, like a frying pan. Not snails, but something else cooking. Ooh, yum. Ooh with the sound effects. I like Popo it. coming to town. Oh. <laughs> okay, that, uh, that makes me feel really good that you just said that. And the reasoning is because I was like, I've been gone so long. Is this not even a thing anymore? Skiz, I've been waiting for you this whole time for the popo. -po. This whole time, I'm just like, you. time for the popo. -po. I can't wait, dude. No, it's gonna be amazing. No, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. We got some stuff. I got some stuff cooking. It's it's quite exciting. So we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be real, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be putting this shopping district to task. Now, I did notice while you were gone, some people, some people have fixed some of their infractions, but there'll be more. There'll be more. Yeah, you and I left. Remember, we left a note on this over here. Look, it turned into something beautiful. Who was it actually? This. Um, you remember this was this was all the scaffold. Oh, that's and Joel. 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 Oh, Joel. Joel. Gosh. Isn't that yeah, neat? Yeah, you know what? I was watching Impulse's video, and I saw and, and he showed this, and it yeah. just makes me want to punch Joel in the face. That's way too cool. That's to be next to my stuff. Come on, why do you have to put it so close to my thing? <laughs> Oh, it, is, it is really cool. I never thought about punching Joel, but you know that's an option. It's a sign of affection. That's what I do. True. Ask that's Gimbal. true. He hates it. <laughs> I beat him up all the time. <laughs> I um yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm excited to start rolling in here, start cracking some knuckles. I like it. I like it. So then that's what it, that's what's gonna happen. Everybody, you guys familiar? Can we say? Can we say what Popo stands for? Have, have, has it been mentioned yet? Okay, let's if wait. If it has, I don't. 
I don't know if it has or not, but I also have forgotten what it means. It's <laughs> permit office enforcement, bro. Oh, okay. That ma- that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, but it's the popo. So so that's what it is. Look at look at Etho popo. <laughs> not a pole. Uh, yeah. Scarface and I are going to be uh, the popo. We're going to be the enforcers of, of the market. True. And it already worked, right? It this did actually a, a work. We put a really stern, we, we wrote did. a stern message on a sign right here. Yep. That is true. Happened. It turned into something gorgeous. There's also another enforcement we're going to have to do. And it's, it's some people have taken the message because I literally said it in a meeting. You have to put ender chests in your shops and it's the cub rule. So there's a rule on Hermitcraft oh, that... Yes. If a shop does not have an ender chest in it, it's free. If, oh, okay, that's, f- okay, look, I got one in here, but I, I need to make another one for my uh, snow shop over here. It's actually oh, head fact- cannon. It, 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 it's head cannon to me. If a shop is doesn't have an ender chest, it's free. But it is the cub rule because cub one time went on this epic rant about shops not having ender chests in them. And forever, <laughs> it is called the cub rule that you have to put an ender chest in a shop. Okay, so I got to put one in here. But look, last time you were in here with me, uh, oh. Did I take my boots off? Um, so now this is powdered snow is officially up for sale now. Oh, nice! One it is for two buckets, and okay. I just and oh, then the I'm, regular I'm snow. I'm gonna. I, this is what I'm thinking. Uh, here's what I'm thinking. Tell me if you think that this is fair. Here's what I'm thinking. No ender chest in here. This. That's what I said. I have to put one in here. Oh, I wasn't uh, listening. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. Okay, tell me what you think. Okay, so for over here, okay. one diamond for two buckets because it is six pieces. You know, you're getting the buckets and everything, but also. For regular snow, I'm saying one diamond for three. I'm going to put, I'm going to load this up with iron shovels. One diamond for three shovels. Go nuts. Or if you use your own shovel, it's completely free. Eh? What do you think? Way too nice. It's a good one, right? So you're providing a service, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh, by the way, this, see how this is a complete box? I thought it just had to be the cardinal post here, here. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah. you got out. I didn't think they could get out of that. I mean, it That's can get out saying. like this, like through this little crack right yep. here. Yep. Which I, I don't understand because I don't I'll tell you think this right he can't. I don't. I don't believe I, it. I don't believe bro, it, bro. I don't understand it, dude. Because check it out. I put him in there. Here, go ahead and take. I know I'm an axe on me. Take take out the, the corners. Do it for me. Do it for Skiz. Okay. Okay. Now, he stayed in there the whole time I was on vacation, dude. Yeah. And I came back in here. He was still in here. I left. I came back, and he was walking about making all this snow. I'm like, what? Oh, he made all the snow. He left these 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 prints. Yeah. Weird. In fact, let me see. Wait a second. I have a theory. I have a He's theory. He's thin enough to go through that, dude. I have a theory. I have a theory. What okay. if he can only go through this section? Whoops, I'm breaking stuff. What if he can only go through this side? He can't go through the carpet side. Etho, is this true? There's no carpet. What carpet? There's no, no I removed carpet. the carpet here in thoughts that it can't go over that. But... None of this is carpet. This is all snow. Snow carpet. <laughs> it's a sh- it's snow sheets. It's not a sheet. <laughs> it's never been called a sheet ever in its entire inception. What is it called, people? It's Actually, not it's a sheet. A- I guarantee it's not a sheet. I hover over it. It just says snow. Yeah, the snow, snow carpet. carpet. Snow layers at best. Trooper says it's called snarpet. I like snarpet. Oh, my gosh. It's so strange that he does just hold his position, but then... But he got. Can you push him out? Give it a give it a push. See yeah, that? I don't understand. But when does it decide own. to want to leave? Is the question. Uh, that's a good question, Newman. Interesting, because it, it's just chilling out right there, and you know, people been in the shopping district while you've been gone, so you think it would have taken that opportunity. That's why I don't understand what happened. Like, what what changed? All right, so I'll leave it like like this, and hopefully he doesn't uh, wander away. Yeah. Uh, Etho says he got bumped by a mob, maybe, or he targeted one. True. Okay. You could set some uh, hoppers under here, and it could capture all the snowy balls. Yeah, I might. I might. I might not. I just wanted to set up something real quick. <laughs> I did. You know what I love? Etho, I think he, I'm going to change. I, I'm going to. Etho is like Siri. <laughs> you remind me of my Your brother way too much sometimes. Okay, what? <laughs> Ethos like Siri, dude. 
Don't you think? Because like, it, like sometimes your phone just listens to you and answers <sighs> your questions. Ethos so, like, far just, more competent than Siri. Don't 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 cut him short. Agreed, agreed. <laughs> but I'm talking about the fact that I'm just speaking queries into the ether, and then the answers are just happening upon themselves. True. Uh, example, you, you're on to something with this. Etho, can you make a, a Surrey shop where we come and ask you <laughs> prolific questions? He never logs off, man. Does like 70 <laughs> uh, Sierra has a better voice. I disagree with that. I don't want to blow up Etho's head, but I love his friggin' voice. Don't you love his voice, dude? Especially his laugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Apple mm. should just hire Etho to do the voice. Yeah, 100%. No offense, Siri, but your voice sucks. Is Siri a real person? Well, it's got to be taken from some sort of like... I feel like there was a lady that did the voice at one point. Well, it sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah, and then maybe it was just like robotized. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. His ego is big enough. I don't think so. I gave him the uh, designation of humility, and he, he lives by it. You know who's not humble? Who? Me. <laughs> Apparently, when I give somebody the designation, that is just becomes fact. <laughs> Why is this glass so high? Like an accordion. Which one? What are you talking about? Where? Oh, yeah, I don't know, dude. See what I'm saying? I have a lot to... Oh, here's an ender chest. I can take this one and put it in my shop. Yeah, for sure. Take that. Yeah, there's one over there. There's one there. Yeah, take it, take it, take it. Why are there so many? I, well, it's all the glass okay. colors. I'm just wondering why different sizes. I have the glass. Is, I should probably put my glass in here, but I don't want to because I don't want to. I don't. I don't. So I don't want to conform to this this forced uh, this forced communalness. <laughs> <laughs> this is something you and I might need to uh, get on top of, don't you think? <laughs> you? Hey, I'm trying to Ooh. be. I'm trying to be on my best behavior. What? Yeah, I don't know. Don't. don't I, I, I am. I am an innocent angel. What? You live your life, right? I like. You know what I mean? See? No. Okay. See? You held it together then. I'm That's confused. Just gonna hit you later. <laughs> is this is this the right. S for smart thing again? No, no, no. <laughs> somebody somebody in my chat's gonna understand what I just did. Yeah, see. <laughs> I feel like something happened. I don't understand. <laughs> Never mind. It's uh, Jeb's gonna get mad at me if I go any further. Do you want your okay. seeds back? No, no, just uh, you can keep those. Listen. Okay, I'll keep your just seeds. Be adults here, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, what are you working on, buddy? Well, can I show you? Yes, please. We take the flight. Wait, do you not have the wings? Oh no. No, I have not got. I'm still like sticking to it, man. You're sticking to it. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. that. But it's starting to bug me, dude. <laughs> like, oh, oh, and look, come look at, come look at Shingles. Get close. What, wait, wait, yeah. he changed his name, but he won't hold still. Stinking horse. Glue stick, dude. Oh, it's glue stick. Wait, you don't have Shingles yeah. anymore. Completely gone, dude. You Feeling all great. cleared up. All cleared up. Oh, that's good, everybody. That's <laughs> good. That's good. I, I like, I love to hear it. All right, climb aboard yeah, Shingles or, or glue, 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 glue stack, glue stick. Glue stick, dude. There you go. Get on glue right, stick. Okay, this way. Full speed. Okay. I'm like, oh, you're not. I thought you were failing to try to fly. No, when when, when I'm walking next to a, <laughs> a a horse rider, this is what I do. I just hop. That's very very thoughtful of you. So I need you I to look at this, and I need you to tell me what you see because Cub like shot me down with what I what I made. Really, Alrighty. really, really shot me down. You know, I was going to make a hot guy challenge course and it was going to have a lot of like I'm electro in. hopping. I'm in. I never did it. I should do it. Dude, I got the sickest shot on you in my last clip. You took the longest shot at me. I spun around, plugged you. But unfortunately, I hit your horse, not you. Oh, I was, I was like, what are you talking? Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What are we what are we looking at here? We're going we're going back. We're going back to Magical Mountain. Oh, we're going back home. Okay. Yeah, well, it's just, it's just right here by Impulse's base. This is good because it's where I need to go anyway. All right. So this is a this is a reference to a prior season, but I need you to see if you can identify what they are. Because you could easily yeah. identify what they are, I think. Okay. Well, we know it's it's plural. 
Got that much of a clue. I'll give you. I'll give you a hint. There's a wide grin. There's a wide grin. One of them's a wide grin. Oh wait, I spoiled it. Oh, never mind. I'm good at this. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. All right, who 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 are these people besides wide so grin? This is, okay, so this is Grian. This is Joel. This is Scar. I don't know who that is. All right, that's B Dubs, but B Dubs wore a blue shirt in season seven. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And then this is Impulse. That's Impulse? Yeah. You can't oh, okay, put a I yellow block on now. his chest because he's he originally because it was well actually I think I could have put a red block, but it would have been too identifying. So why this crew? Okay, so this crew in season seven was called the Sewer Cats. Sewer Cats. Oh. Cats of the Deep Dark Underworld. <laughs> So I thought it'd be funny to bring back this old graffiti that was done in Corrales' base of our characters. Because originally what, what it was was Corrales had the South Park characters up on um, like like they were graffitied spray painted on a building in his city in season six. Right, right. And when we were the sewer cats, we basically lived in his base, like hiding in his base. And um, we lived in a sewer and we, we stole stuff from his base. So we would go up and we would steal bits and bobs from his base and bring it down to our lair down in the sewer and just trying to see if what we could steal without him knowing it was us. And one of the things I did was I stole the South Park characters and replaced it with um, with ourselves as the character. So I thought it'd be funny to bring him back. That's cool. That but Cubs cool. shot him down and said it was terrible and I needed to add some more detail to it. No, I love this. I've seen this before. Like, I've seen it before where it's like, guess the TV show and you'll see it. And it'll be all the Simpsons characters like this. Yeah. I, right? I was and thinking about to, putting yeah. some like uh, some green like fumes coming off the bottom here to kind of like tie it in a little bit more. I really wish you didn't say wide green. And like, I think I would have gotten it, dude. <laughs> you would have gotten it. Well, I he was Carmen because, because his shirt matched what was the, what was already there. So I'm like, well, that's going to be green. <laughs> He's just going to be white. Yeah. Well, well, here's the deal. I think I would have gotten it because I, I literally took like a fun little quiz in regards to like how many of these shows can you get right? One of them being The Simpsons, one of them actually being South Park, one of them being uh, Fred and, and Barney or uh, Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. It was I, you kind of picked up on. It. I think I would but my point being, I think I would have seen this and recognized these are definitely people. Mm -hmm. But I'm embarrassed for not getting that this was impulse. I guess uh, if it was Joel, there'd be a little like one of these blocks would be green up there in the hair. Right. Yeah. I gotta, oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, I've got to... Uh, I've got to... i got to tag this place, too. Yeah, what, what do you got, Skids? You could do something fun. What can you yeah, do? Yeah, what do you got? Hey! What are you going to do? Oh, my I God, where did he come from? I, I, he just does, oh, my God, I didn't even see you log on. <laughs> I thought you were all <laughs> on. I didn't log on. I've been logged on for, like, 30 hours. Oh, <laughs> hey, okay. Somebody buying all my quartz. Uh, oh. Who's buying all your quartz? I don't know. I think I heard Etho. Ah, uh, e a customer. Hi, oh Etho. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this gem. Oh, my goodness. Magical yeah, mountain. Everybody's uh, assembling. Skiz, I missed you. Right I missed now. you, too, You're Jenstone. not allowed to leave anymore. I, you know what? That was a long time. Was it? But everybody take it's a peek at my horse. Long. Oh, yeah. Look, guys. Close. Way too long. See that? What's that? Leave me alone. Name? Leave me alone. Blue stick. Yep. That means the shingles are completely <laughs> gone, dude. This man's healed. He's a healed man. I'm healed. No more shingles. No more shingles. Not even any side effects, huh? No. No. I, when you think about at it. At first, I, I thought maybe I got dumber, but then it turns out that was pre-existing. So just, it looks like I'm in the clear. Just lingering uh, constipation? Yeah. <laughs> mm. No. Mm. Hold on. I got to turn kill this trader, off. okay? What's it got? Wait, did she say she was going to kill it? Yeah. I see. Oh, Skulk. That's cool. Jukebox. There's some neat stuff. There is some good stuff in that one for I'll sure. Let you, I'll, let you, I'll let you see it. Go, get up. Get I, have okay. a, I have something I got to talk to you about, Scar. Mm -hmm. Question for you. It's not private, Impulse, so please feel free to stick around. Um, sure. I says, I says to my daughter before I left the East Coast, I said, what do you want me... It wouldn't leave me alone. That's it. That's it. Because you're holding the carrots. That's it. Oh, sorry. Okay. And never mind. Oh, I took the carrots out of my hand. Please come back. Off it goes. Oh, off I wonder what it was. Uh, what did he say? You told something about a like a, a 
A drudge? He said something about his daughter? Oh, Did daughter. I don't know why I thought I said something daughter. about a drudge. I don't even know what that word meant. Mm. Okay. Oh, he's back. He cooled off. Are we good? We're oh, good. Oh, you fixed. Scar fixed his mic. I can turn him back down. Oh. I had to turn you up, Impulse. Impulse. I posted in the chat somehow. I changed like, anything. Deep settings. Deep settings in Windows. It, something got changed. It, was a, it took me a while to figure it out. Okay. All right. What do you got? Here we go. You ready for this? Ready. Uh, I, I asked my, yeah, that, that you can hit. I asked my daughter, what is it that I can do? What do you want him to see me do? Because I just, you know, I wanted to do something on, on Hermitcraft. And here's what she says. She wants me to train a fox, which is very, it's not easy. My point being that train if I was going to go what? through that, just to, just to have a fox to get a, get a, a, oh, a I thought you meant like fox. train a fox to use a toilet or something. No, 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 no. no like jinxy. Come on. I heard foxes so, just like pee on everything. Listen, I mm. was like, if you're going to end up needing a fox, is that, some, I don't know if you're going to have one or two or a bunch, and maybe it could be something that you and I did in the future. If you had something planned already, don't sweat it. But if, okay, uh, if okay. you wanted to do a. You know, if I remember a, right, when they added fox back in uh, what? Back. What impulse? 2019? Doc walked sure. around with like a bunch of them and they were like rabid and they would like jump up and down and fly around mm. because they weren't tamed. Do you remember that? We did Tam it in Area 77. That's Skiz, the there is something there with the fox that could be fun. If I'm not mm. mistaken, if you put there a is. lead on an untamed fox, they will like go berserk. Like they'll just be like flying up and down and jumping up in the air. It's wild. Um, I haven't seen that, but what I have seen is I what I would like to do. Here's what I would recommend for this is what I kind of want to do. And I will run it by you, but I almost want like a snow globe where there's foxes in it and chickens because they jump up in the air. They try to get the chicken. They dive into the snow and they stick straight into the snow and their butts stick up in the air. It's like the cutest thing in the world. And I figured if we did like a little half the good snow times, globe, dressed in black. just be foxes popping all over the place trying to. Sounds cool. Like, you know what I mean? It's actually cool. All right. Well, I'm glad to be back, guys. Very much so. I got a lot of work to do. You do have a lot oh, of work yeah. to do. Yeah, I am. You don't need to do any work. I got it, dude. I, I got to do it. I got it. Remember that with the base change in time and space. I got it. I got it. This is. I come in and I see this Look. massive progress over here. Nah, like, nothing's oh. hardly changed since you've been gone, right? That's not true at all. <laughs> I'm getting upset with Joel. His builds are too incredible. I have yeah, the tapes. Joel needs to slow down. I've got the tapes, guys. I've got them. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. I. That that it's octopus put together. Dressed in black. Remember that. Oh, the here we go. Change in time here we go. Staying on track. <laughs> that's got the tapes, uh, guys. That that octopus got the tapes. that he put together, They're dude. They're back. At his shop. You got to be kidding me. That is like one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I saw it on your video, Impulse. So I felt fine talking about it here. <laughs> guys, I've got the tapes. I've got the tapes. You do? I do. It took me a long time. I I I've got the tapes. Oh my gosh. Do you what have it so about? we can hear it? I don't know how to use the GoXLR to make it so you can uh, hear it. Dang it. <laughs> it's uh, skiz for reference. Uh, I was once tasked with doing a rap, and it was so bad that these tapes were buried for for years. And I found them recently. Oh. Can you reenact oh. them? Can you just reenact them live? Do it live, Scar. Go, go. We'll do it live. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, dressed in black. <laughs> That's for a fact. Um, I can't remember the lyrics. I see the problem. I can't. I need to remember the lyrics. Oh man, that's so mean. <laughs> I remember. I need to know the lyrics, and then I got it. Oh, okay, all right. Practice, practice. Yeah, I, I, this is the first time I've heard them in like three years. Please, please, please. We need to hear it Goodness properly. Me. All right. Well, what's important is that you sort of tried. Maybe uh, we can put it on a horn. <laughs> you said like three words. That's exactly. why Isaac is the support of dad, not it. me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know what? That rap was so cool, dude. I remember Doc that, telling me, telling me, you know, you got to have the ups and the downs. And I'm like, dressed in black. That's what <laughs> the ups and the downs. <laughs> I hope we do another one of those. <clears throat> uh, all right. We'll get, you, we'll get you a verse in the next one. Yes. Yes, I I'll I will write it. I want to write it, and then I'm gonna and I'm. Because you were channeling that, Michael Scott really vibes fun. of insider, the inside joke, 
Love inside jokes. Uh, Love to be a part of one one someday. (laughs) Inside jokes. Love inside (laughs) jokes. Love to be. Hope to be a part of one someday. Um, (laughs) Nobody can make you feel discomfort like Michael Scott. No, especially season Mm -hmm. one. That's 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 a rare. Oh, impulse. Did you see this? I was just admiring how thin I look next to uh, (laughs) next to G there. That's wide green. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I'm still gonna. I'm gonna add some more like colors and things. Cub said it was terrible, and uh, I needed to add more to it, which I, I will. Tag? I gotta what? tag something. What am I gonna tag everybody? Permit man's here. <laughs> Accurate to right life. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm gonna On put more outside, dirt up against the wall. The top, <clears throat> you just see the top of our two heads because the terrain is up higher. Chat wanted it over <laughs> here. They thought it would fit better over in the slum area oh, of cool. uh, of the city. Yeah. Which I thought yeah, I thought so too, but then I I'm saw I'm gonna tag this. it with something, Impulse. I just gotta yeah, think of it. You're welcome. Come, 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 do it. People are doing amazing stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna jazz it up colorful. with some more colors and stuff like that. But it'll be a fun okay. callback to the uh, the sewer cats. Yeah, I like it. Sewer cats. Joel's is super cats. cool over there. Very bright. Yeah, this is way better. We don't talk about that one. Cool. He's just better in every way than all of us. Oh, Green just bought out everything over here. No, I also bought out five things. <laughs> What'd you buy? Uh, crafting tables, dirt, bamboo planks, jukebox, shulker box. Oh, not the skulk though, huh? I thought I that was cool it. looking. Never been. Oh, okay, fair enough. What did you not buy? Way to do this. It had skulk blocks. Skulk. Cool. Many skulk oh. blocks looked awesome. Yeah, they would be awesome for my build, not gonna lie, but I don't have them. I, I found a... a, a, a like a oh, like nope. a hole with Schultz coming out of it, and I just ran the other direction when I saw it. I was like, I don't want to deal with the warden. I still have bad memories from decked out. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta... it's trauma, isn't it? It is. It is, Jeb. That is very true. There, there are like, what's the other thing? Like the shrieker yeah. sound, like when it tracks. Yeah, that sound yeah. Ma- yeah. G- gives me shivers now. Oh my god! <gasps> Gokman. That is a that is an alter ego of you, uh, Cub. Is Shulk Man? Much better, much better. That's a callback. That's a callback from what the Empire's crossover. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, late. Cub already did it. What is what Cub do? Do you want do you I want some impulse? I got a couple. <laughs> I got a couple. Here, take take two. Take uh, two. I rode all the way over there. <laughs> to get my, see. This is why you gotta keep the elytra on. I would have beat him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Does he have any other good ones? Let's see what else he has. Oh, concrete. That's it. I want to crit scar Black so he stone. dies to the llamas. <laughs> That'd be a fantastic. Yeah, guy. Hey, he's already died oh, to the llamas hey, no. before. Uh oh. Come on, llamas. Oh, no. Burn to death llamas. whilst fighting a llama. Yeah. Oh, you did get me. <laughs> you did get me. You did get me. <laughs> Oh my god. It did actually get me. Ooh, new dock. Spoilers. So that is now the second time I've been killed by a llama in Minecraft. That is now the second time. Look at Skiz. Oh, it's so good to have Skiz back. Look at him over there, his little bootsies. What's up? You died to spit? Yeah, it's Jem. Jem's fault. Blame Jem. <laughs> but yeah, I, I want to mess around now with that with that graffiti. I want to try to get like like some colors like swooping in the background. Like we could start with like you know probably do like a darker green and then like fan up to like a lighter green and maybe some like wispy like white at the top. I think could look actually really cool. That we just are stinky over there. <laughs> I think it would look cool if we were just kind of like stinky being the sewer cats down there. I think uh, I think it would look cool because you have the minimalist like design of the character and then um, I'm back. Go, 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 go. There we go. He makes it. Cub, you remember we were talking about Happy Gilmore and like golf swings the other day? Happy Gilmore. Oh, my God. Yep. I remember. Yeah. You do good for your home. <laughs> yeah, it's all in the hips. 
<laughs> all in the hips. Um, apparently, they're trying to make a sequel. Oh, yes. Really? Wow. Apparently. I saw this. I don't know if it was a joke, but somebody sent it to me, and I was like, I don't know if this is a parody, but uh, yikes. <laughs> like, what could it's gonna it be? Tough. How can you top Happy Gilmore fighting Bob Barker? I don't know. Oh, How it's, can you and, top that? In Chubbs, he died in real life, the actor. Like, just died. Yep. He was Apollo Creed yep. and uh, the Mandalorian. Um, uh, Creed, 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 Creed Garfith, Creed, Creed Gargan, and the uh, yeah that guy that yep one. don't remember his name grief cargo there we go thank you chat uh um, carl weathers carl weathers yeah yeah it was sad like how could you have happy gilmore and now he died like come on i think i think some things should just stay as they are you know yeah that's what i don't, was don't don't tr don't try was to change adam perfection. sandler in it at least <laughs> you said that's so <laughs> sad <laughs> like so like, innocent like don't even attempt it if Adam Sandler's not in it, you know? No, you couldn't. Yeah, I don't think you could. It's too, it's too iconic. It's too iconic. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I agree. So what, uh, what are you working on, Impulse? Oh, nothing. Uh, I was at my gold farm and I saw everybody was streaming, so I wanted to come say hi. I... um. It, it seems like everyone's procrastinating today. Cubs procrastinating. I was procrastinating, ranting about uh, things for a while until I realized like I needed to go work on. I did my video backwards. God, he's using scaffolding. Video. Just a moment. <laughs> it looks like uh, what's. Terrence from South Park. Wait, 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 wait. You got you gotta do oh, it for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do it for real. <laughs> we gotta go, Terrence. There Let's we go. go see what it is. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Or is it or is it the other way? Other way, other way. Oh jeez. Oh, Classic oh, dyslexic. <laughs> God. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just seems wrong. It's like a fish. <laughs> What's your mouth look like? Wait, hold on. Let me let's see what your mouth looks like. First. I'm just I'm just permagrin. Wait, is there is there just just yeah, two same, like big same. teeth? Yeah, yeah. Same permagrin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that just looks so disturbing. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, giant teeth. Tra trapdoors, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Oh no. I guess it works. <laughs> Man, he is he's in deep concentration over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And with the scale. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Wither skulls. I get wither wow. skulls. He wow, is cheesing is... it up right there. Whew. Wow. It's a bit of a flex can, to be honest. You can see those pearly whites from space. You could. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> If you want to enlarge B Dub's Etho, you can. If you need more room for him, I just shortened him for lols and I jokes. I don't know. I don't think you could do anything with B Dub's. He's that's a that's a tiny face. You could pump. You could make his head bigger. You could put his head back to where it was. Uh, with the you can just you know put three more uh, terracotta blocks. <laughs> Jeez, this looks so disturbing. <laughs> Oh, he's got the scaffolding, guys. He's got an idea. Uh -oh. That's all you can really do. There's got to be something. If you had two, like, white terracotta blocks, maybe. Yeah, uh, item frames. Uh, item item frames. frames, yeah. With pressure plates, maybe? Something, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, chat. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> My uh, my webcam was blocking B Dibs' head and chat's like we can't see. <laughs> what is he going with this? Uh, wh whoa, wait a second. What? Probably. What? In the, in the same block as the eyes, but on the bottom would work. I bet. <laughs> this is getting really sus. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's as far as it can go. It'll work. It'll work. Wait. Try, try the item frame like uh, at where the eyes are and then yeah. rotate it. 
rotated. Oh down. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's tight. It's tighter than I thought. Wait, <laughs> could you throw a? Do you have a white block or anything? Hold on. Wait, can't we you need just like put... a white, all white map in there or something? Wait, well, like, make... this should this should work. Uh, Wait, pressure, hold on. Pressure plate will go pretty low. On hold on. Frame, I think. Yeah. Try a pressure plate. Wait, I got an idea. Hold on, hold on a second here. <laughs> okay, yeah, big guy, big guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's that's it. Yeah, that's I was like, I, there's something good. here. This is how I used to make toilet paper rolls back in the day. That's I invented that. I want to have everybody know. Okay. I invented a lot of furniture it. designs back in the day. I got no credit for. Small scar that's rant. Good. That's good. Pretty sure I've seen that on Krell's channel before. Uh, trigger. Gonna bury you. Uh oh. Oh, whoa, geez, a wild green appeared. Uh oh. What? Hold on. Is he's he going to full block cook. or what's he doing? Let him cook. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, mini blocks, mini blocks. Nice. Black concrete. And then we need to add white. How's he gonna add the white? How's he gonna do it, guys? He's got something, man. He's got something planned. We need white concrete mini blocks. Oh. The terracotta? He's thinking. He's thinking. Oh, mud. 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 Oh, man. What's this is an do? extreme amount of pressure. Is he going to put the white behind the item frame? Like if you did white item frame and then the black? You see what I mean? Like if you did, if you did that... Where'd that button go? Maybe you wouldn't like something like that? See what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that would work, I think. All right, what's he got? What's he got? Here we go, he's going up. Went wooden button. Oh. Hmm. I think the white con white powder concrete with the black stone button. <laughs> We're just sitting in <laughs> such anticipation to see what he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna come next? <laughs> just waiting. I don't know. What What do you think, Cub? Do you think the like I said that like the white and then the, the just the button on top? I think that would work. Yeah. The big eyes. Get the big eyes in there. Behind the head block. Hmm. Oh. That's interesting that you can put it behind other stuff. Like yeah. Block. Hmm. But you can't put it behind a mini block? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, oh, I see what he means. Oh, 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 I get it. I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> oh, that might be the ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the ticket. I think the white niche needs to be different from the shoes, but other than that, like a, a different white, like a quart. Mr. Quartz, can we have two quart blocks? Oh, of course I didn't bring it. Oh, up. never mind. Ethos already got <laughs> the inner chest down. What's no. up? Can we have two quart blocks? Multiple double chests of we stuff. We know you then. got plenty. I'm sold out again. <laughs> I didn't really stock those yet, though. I got two. <laughs> Thank you. There, this, I think that, I, well, I don't know. Maybe them being too close together might not work. Clearly. Rip those out faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We could always increase his head. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, there, no, we <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> now it almost looks like one big face. You know, like, <laughs> straight like down at the bottom, it looks like his mouth. <laughs> oh no, he has hands. White <laughs> green like can't like have hands. The <laughs> eyes like follow the, you. The as cookie well. monster, in a way. White green can't have hands. I like the hands. Oh. <laughs> it's like mommy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> oh god. Mama. Mama. <laughs> it does look like a little baby green. <laughs> he's a werewolf. He's still got I the don't baby think fat. I got wool, that's why he's, really. That's why he's uh, wide. I got a little bit. Probably not the right colors. What color you need? What if my eye needs to be one block over? So 
My eye just needs to look the other direction. That actually works. That actually works when the eye's not straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, I think I think mine looks better now. <laughs> Man, we're such artists. My God. <laughs> This is great. This is great now. This is top tier. This is the this is the little extra detail I needed. Green's Green's cooking, guys. He's thinking again. He's in thinking mode. <laughs> Impulse, what have you oh, signed up for? Man. Having people come in your base like this, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh that, no. Good. That's good. Oh, <laughs> it's my so gosh. cursed. It's so cursed. This is cursed green. <laughs> Wide green is cursed. Jesus. <laughs> oh, is that exactly is cursed. Wow. We signed up for this. With the arms, it looks like he's a zombie. He's like, brains. <laughs> brains. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's... No, that's weird. No. That's spooky. What? <laughs> what were your thoughts on that? <laughs> well, wait, oh, Ethan. Like oh my God, hole. do you have an end rod? Uh, yeah. Can I have that block and an end rod? Oh, this don't stick good. it down low. And then do you have the uh, do you have that red block you had? Where was that thing? Yeah, yeah, over here. Casbah Gaming cheered X300 Scar. Thank you. What if for yours, you did white eyes, then an item frame holding warped stairs so they're kind of green. Oh, that's a good idea, Chad. So they're doing the glance Ooh. to the right. He's got a sucker. A little... little <laughs> <laughs> he's got a no, he's baby, he's baby green now. He's baby green. <laughs> Lots of eyes, though. Uh, yeah, you gotta have to see it on an angle, yeah. <laughs> What a lineup. Do I have white on my eyes? Oh, I do have white on my eyes. Yeah, that's that is quite the crew. <laughs> that is quite the crew. <laughs> now I just need the uh, sewer cat song just playing like within like a five block radius of these. Oh no. We totally do that. We could totally do that. Impulse is now Bane. With the with the face mask. Oh, oh, sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's rosy cheeks. This is so horrific. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna get a good shot of this. Randinacol 2002 cheered X 500. Wow, it's we've been really derailed today. On his pants. <laughs> born, born into the redstone, molded by. <laughs> I didn't know we were going 3D, but I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I would have never thought. Yep. Good call. Good stuff. So what you working on, Etho? Are you procrastinating like all of us, too? Yeah, I've been building a moss farm forever. I'm kind of sick of it, but... Okay, okay. Yeah. Isn't there, like... So what's the what's the point of the moss farm? What's the moss farm for? So I I will get so much bone meal. I'll get so much moss. I have the mossy cobble permit. Ooh, okay. So I can use the moss to make mm -hmm. that. Nice, nice. Oh, by the way, Etho, are you part of Big T? I'm not big. I'm not part of Big T. I'll never be part of Big T. I want nothing to do with Big T. <laughs> Do you part have of big, a big G. permit? Big G. Big glass. Are you part of a Big T, Cub? No. No, I'm not. I gave mine up. Jim, are you part of Big T? Oh, my God. <laughs> Poor Impulse. <laughs> we actually need, like, OMG banners above Impulse here, I think. <laughs> Can somebody make it? Oh, my God, graffiti? Because I already took up three slots, so it can't oh, be me. No. <laughs> Oh no. A little speech bubble, you know? That would be really funny. That would be hilarious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not a part of Big T, whoever asked me that. Okay, okay. I only have four permits, so I've gotten rid of some of mine. By the and way, Jeff, and I are trying to take down Big T. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Victim. You are oh, entitled yeah, to zero diamonds, diamonds for the yellow glass so far. I would like to talk to you about your marketing tactics. How have you made zero? Uh, it's a tough competitive market. All of the charisma that you have in that body, and you didn't sell <laughs> any yellow glass? Was that even possible? Not a, not a speck. Not a Impulse. splinter. You're not buying yellow glass now that I'm selling it? Oh, I, I should, huh? Half your uh -huh. windows are yellow, Impulse. Where's that coming from? You see how easy that, that marketing was? was? That was before it's shops easy. were... That's an empty promise, Jim. He didn't mean it. He's just trying to get you off his back. That's all there was to that. Oh, I could use some more. <laughs> yeah, I could use some more. Yeah, head on down to the shopping Thank district. You. There's mm. there's plenty available. Mm. Ready, ready Hello. for purchase. Thank you. Some light gray in there as well. It. Since somebody bought all my quartz, I'll be happy to make a purchase. Yeah, and you got something yeah. to say about frog lights, right, right Impulse? Of course, of course, yeah. If you guys, oh my know, god, lights are absolutely the best uh, lighting block in the video game, and uh, it comes in three different colors, so you have lots of choices there, and you guys oh, should definitely buy so some nice. from uh, Ethos Shop. Look at the, look at the yeah. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to find a look way of guys. matching. They don't like, go the with the horror theme. They're too you bright. Can put pressure plates yeah. on top. You can cover them up a little bit. You know, even if you're yeah. using them in as backlighting, mm -hmm. and you don't want to actually show the uh, the, the design. You know, they look they, like they're... Easter eggs, to be honest. So you could the go cheapest, at Easter route. You know, lights. it's almost Easter. Mm -hmm. Cheapest lights in the game. They're the best. What makes Torches you... Torches uh... are the cheapest lights in the game. <laughs> no, you need full blocks. You can't have particles. Come on. Nobody I want particles. Spam. What want makes particles. you so excited about frog lights? They're amazing. Sell out. three different colors. I mean, they're all, I mean, they're a, cool. I mean, they have their two, purpose. Yeah. You can put them in two different directions, and they have different patterns on them, depending on how much. Like, That's I right. put these upright, and it would okay. have been more white than purple, um, but mm -hmm. went with the purple mm -hmm. look. It's got like a glow to it now because you, you did that. You should see this place at night. You'll change your mind. Also, may I point out, is one of the very few pastel colors in the game. That is true. That's a selling point. Do you have the yep. the frog light permit? Everything. Impulse. Are you just selling me on frog lights? I am a, a frog light connoisseur. Is ah, a, just a, a man fan. of men of frog fan. lights. I'm a big fan of both frog lights and Etho. <laughs> Why? Frog lights. In case you didn't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Why>? you, wait. <laughs> he was you just had a deal from this there. man? What, what is <laughs> going on? That's a random oh, no. thing to say. <laughs> just a big fan yeah, of Why Etho, would you though. like Etho? I mean... <laughs> God. Okay, this is getting a little, this is a little, a little real. Tell me, tell us more about what you think of Etho. <laughs> give, give me some more context here, Impulse. About Etho? Yeah, you said you liked him. Good. What, 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 what? Don't make oh, him he's reach great. deep. He's a great guy. Very, uh, mm -hmm. very generous. Um, you know, humble he's as well. Very humble. Yes. Uh, he builds things that I, I'm amazed by, mm -hmm. and most of the time, he will incorporate the best block in the game, frog lights. That's kind of not true. So Lots become of just Riz. a big fan. Lots of Riz. Yeah, and Raz. He has Riz and Raz. Good mix of Riz and he's, Raz. He's a Riz or I don't know the difference between the Riz Raz. Somebody told me, that, and then I forgot. The Riz, the Raz, which one's like which? I, I get confused. No cap. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That is a really good one. That might, that might be better. I than might though. need one of those actually. <laughs> if there's a if there's a one of a kind, I, I would like that one actually. That's a good one. That's a really good one. God, and that that one came from that cursed stream back in season. Oh man, that was such a wild stream. Oh god. Hello. I don't know if that's a horn or hey, if that's X. really a zoom. Uh, that's actually. Oh, it's just really a zoom. Okay. <laughs> I, we, <laughs> every time we hear somebody new, we're not sure if it's a horn now. Let's see. So what you up to, Azuma? Uh, looking for Cub. Cub? Yeah. Cub he was here like. I saw him on your stream a second ago. It was there three seconds he ago. He just flies over and blows horn and takes off. Oh. Is he gone? Oh, did you see? Uh, did you see our graffiti art? Our three D, three three D art. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Why does Impulse have the pink cheeks? Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> That's why. <sighs> oh my god! It's too much for me. <laughs> oh, what's happening now? 
I gotta, I gotta come over here and graffiti oh, the wall sewer, at some the point. Sewer. This is cool. <laughs> Good job. This is this has really became 3D so art. It was supposed to be flat. Out. <laughs> yeah. There he is. There I'm he is. It. Gub. Sumo. Hey, hi. How's it going? How's it going? I'm kind of jealous, Etho. Like, it took me uh, a right. good good. hour and ten minutes just Next to get the materials probably. to make this. Andrew and you're just popping system. things out of that ender chest left yeah, and right. Yeah, but that's because you talked about Disney more than you picked up blocks. Well, people needed to know, Jem, about how frustrated don't, I am no, with the Disney no, Legends. No, 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 don't go into it. Don't go What's into that? it. Stop right there. Do you want to play your game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I am pretty sure, Jeb, that Ooh. Kilimanjaro, sorry, Announce might be the largest in, ride in the okay. Disney Very Park universe. Thank you, Scar. It's, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there might be some people out there that's gonna, you know, be like, oh, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick to that. Oh, he got started. He got started. No, I'm done. I'm, I'm winding down. down. I'm winding down. He's winding back winding down. Winding down. Backing up. This coming back down. I'm coming going back going. down. All right, follow me, X. Good luck. Learning about Disney against our will. <laughs> against our will? <laughs> Just all the time. Hey, you asked that question. I wasn't forcing this I on did you. ask that one. I did ask that one. When was the last Everyone time in a meeting room I, I forced anybody possible. to listen to Star Wars or Disney talk? Long it time. Has, it's been a little it's while. It's been a been long while. Ooh, it's I'm those soundboard sounds that are, are your new thing. You. Not in the boss. All the, all the Discord soundboard stuff. I just made moss farm. That has been Big moss thing. farm. No, I don't need to buy I any have, ever. I don't know who puts those I things in there, but I appreciate it. <laughs> but I need a lot of moss, like endless moss. Well, you should support uh -oh. your fellow Canadian. I you am broke, local Jim. Business, you got some money for me to buy from you? Because uh, I'm, I'm flat broke. How Nobody's are you buying broke? Frog I saw lights. how many he, frog lights he bought before you gave him that deal. I'm actually in debt. I owe Joe like a ton of money, and oh, no. <laughs> why? How? Etho. Etho. You, you know those those uh, the Ethuwu or whatever. That that's debt in front of my my, my shop. I can't even remove it because I don't own it. Oh, Wait, I gotta Ethoo pay for those boxes. What's an Ethuwu? Ethuwu. Etho Etho and now I got rearranged to Joel. Like I got some obsession with him, and yeah, why? Are you and I can't about remove them because I don't own them. It, why is we every five minutes sort of he brings up Joel? You were Ethel, rich, how are like, you so ago. bad with your money? <laughs> I am. Hey, I made the best deal ever it, on it the server. It actually explains so much about your setup in real life. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to cut that. Oh, he, she <laughs> gets personal <laughs> with it. Are, are you, okay, oh. come on. You can't even afford a new Kleenex box. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How? You know what I was disappointed You're about? You're in debt? It just started. Come oh, I, on. I've been buying every single Minecraft uh, thing on the marketplace ever since it came out. And, you know, I can't afford anything else now. No. <laughs> I was very disappointed he didn't have a Tango uh, decked out desk mat. That's the only thing I was disappointed in. With I did setup. actually want to get one of those and I waited too long. Oh, you snooze no. you lose, man. You snooze you lose. Tango's got to have extra. He'll be happy to. Send one to an Oh, yeah, just give Tango your you address. To... <laughs> yeah. Just send it yeah, to... No. <laughs> send it to Canada. Can... Moose Lane. He's just gonna pick a mile marker on the road in the middle of nowhere and send <laughs> Etho to it. <laughs> it's around the fifth maple tree. Fifth yeah. maple tree. Next to the beaver dam. You send it to me, so and then I'll, I'll put it on the beaver nearest dam. moose. Huh. Okay, I'm Do you have a be beaver dam near you? Here. Uh, there's probably a lot, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I saw that's one it, one time. I, it right was now. cool. Like beaver dams are really actually awesome. Yeah, they're they're cool. Yeah, you can walk on them sometimes. If they're big enough. And I mean, it's like it's such a cool oh, animal scary. that like makes its own little house, and then it's like a dam. It's super cool. Not only that, they make houses for all the other animals. They're the, they're the builders of the ecosystem. It's very true. It's very true. You, you want to save an environment? Just let some beavers go anywhere. Have you ever seen a video of them trying to take a, take out a beaver dam that was like causing actual problems? And it's like a process. They have all these what, like heavy machinery and they're like jackhammering it. Oh, those poor beavers. I would hope that they, they were out of it work. before they started jackhammering it. Yeah, but they did all that hard work just to get it taken away That's from true. them. That's true. That's true. Sad. Now, I did buy your clay gem, so... 
think. I have I have used your shops. Has everybody sharpened their axe, by the way? Because we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go stripping some walls in a minute. No, no. <laughs> Whose walls? What walls? I oh, will murder you again. <laughs> again, that's true. I was surprised to see the birch block return. I know. I've never. <laughs> it's the I, I did that, and then that episode has oh, like triple yeah. the hate comments to the all the rest The birch. Of you did that just to spite beat ups, didn't you? Yeah. No, I actually like think it looks dumps. good. I do. That, I that was wait, wait, a wasn't a joke. Full birching right it's there. It's not hey, a guys, joke. Let me show you something. Come around back. We're, We're gonna back. go strip. Look at, this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's out B dubs right now. If he what? pretends to hate it, look. Mm. Look at the building. <gasps> I know he doesn't hate it. He, he uses used it all the time. He did use it. Wow. So he's not a hater. It does look better with bone blocks. If there there wasn't a bone block shop in existence when I built that, I would have put bone blocks in it too. But Pearl's shop is up now, so maybe I will. Oh yeah, Pearl has a a, a shop right now. Yeah. But until then, we can uh, we can go strip those walls. No. <laughs> I'm a proponent of stripping these walls. Dodging, weaving. Whew. Wait, there's chests in here. <laughs> oh, I closed the door. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Anybody have a bed? Either pull the inner chest out. Oh no! He's going down. I'm too far gone. I <sighs> feel it. He's exploring. Got that right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went back on the season seven world. There's some cool stuff back there, Impulse. Some yeah. cool stuff. Season 7, that, oh, we did so much. We did so much. <laughs> like, the shopping district is so laggy. Like, wild lag. But so yeah, many cool it's memories. It's almost a look into what this area is going to be like. <laughs> the lag. <laughs> <laughs> He just chunk he distance just two nervously <laughs>, laughs on his horse, Jim. He's like, <laughs> oh my god. Listen, listen, all this stuff I'm doing is all client side stuff. So if you can't handle it, that's on you. Get a better computer. Wow. I can handle it. I can handle yeah. it. I have 435 FPS. See? Oh, and we use that mod. I only have 140. Everybody uses that mod that hides entities that you can't see, right? Entity uh, pulling. No, I highly doubt I use that. Oh, you should probably do that. Because um, otherwise, nah. yeah. Keep it up you won't me see now. all these entities in the back when you're in the front, you know? It'll be fine. Uh, what? I just built this PC. It's, it's, I'm just gonna, we're gonna bring it to the limit. We're gonna bring Entity it to the limit. Entity pulling mod. Might require that to enter the city by the end of the season. <laughs> wow. Well. Is it time to actually get work done? Probably. Okay. I wasn't planning on working today. I'm still gonna put my mending book on my fishing rod. The, the mending book that I fished out of the uh, the sea in front of Grand's face. Oh no. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it on my little fishing rod over my uh, fish tank. Did you hear the song? The what? The the mending book song that just came out? No, I have not. Where, where, what is this? Mending book? So where do I find in, it? In the group. I posted it in the group. Ooh, I'm not sure you can should listen to it on stream, but yeah, probably not, probably not. But it's pretty good. It's oh, pretty what good. is this? Impulse added some stuff to By the Gideon. spreadsheet over yeah. here. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shh. But uh, yeah, there's what's the one at the there. bottom? Impulse. I'm really excited about this. What is this? signed impulse? Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Uh, I I have it on my my last stream. You can see it behind my shoulder. Really? Yeah. If you want to get a. Look, I'll send you a picture of it. I'll send okay, yeah, I want to see it. Send it, send it out. Send it out, send it out. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just hold annoying on. the chat because they can't see it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I the poor chat's like, gosh, actual... dang it, I want to know what he's talking about. I know, we're so mean. This is, We can't talk about this. Okay, hold on, I find it. I was gonna I was gonna take my, my phone and take a picture of the wall, and then I was like, wait a minute, I have the actual artwork. <laughs> Here, I'll put it in the same spot. Apple Struda. Oh, you sent it to me. Oh, dude, that's amazing. 
Isn't that cool? I had it framed, and yeah. I'm going to sign it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's going to be cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's super wow, cool. Wow, that's really cool. I love that. I love it. I'm artist? so glad I'm finally in the group chat. B. Apple Struda. Who is the artist? I got it in chat. Uh, B. Apple Struda. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, well done to them. Though. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Jeez. Mission that is amazing. Yeah, I'm excited for the auction. Oh, I'm excited. I got this. If you if you see on the chat. Excited. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. What's in it? Um, so the Scarlet art book is the community, like a whole bunch of incredible artists came together and made basically like an art of book, you know, like for animation or theme parks or movies or any of those things. They have like the art of books. So like the oh, artists yeah, yeah, that yeah. created all the art behind it. So they made that for straight up Scarland. And so wow. you look through here and there's like legitimate, like architectural, like drawings of the buildings as if it, they were real structures. And it's, it's wild, like costuming where they like do like the costume concepts and silhouettes and stuff. It's freaking insane. That's so cool. Yeah, very excited. I'm, I'm doing my video on it, hopefully on Saturday, on Tuesday, I hope, because I'm waiting on another piece of tripod from you because you are the unofficial ambassador of Elgato and Elgato should sponsor oh, Impulse. you got the parts to mount the camera. Yeah, this thing just okay. costs like 150 bucks, all these pieces together. Yeah, I didn't say they were cheap, but they'll do the job. <laughs> yeah, I looked at that and I like straight up in my head was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, but, um, there, but yeah, no, it's coming. I'm excited about it. Cool. Very cool. Have we not announced the right. yet? I don't know. I don't know. I was wondering that too. Yeah, I don't what know. What was been announced and what's not been announced. I don't know the rules. I don't know either. I've been gone all week. <laughs> <laughs> I got a feeling it's one of those things that we should have announced by now, but have it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Green says best to be quiet. Okay, we'll lock it up. No spoilers on stream said some words they heard already though <laughs> i know like chat I, I, yeah I, i've been i've been i've been out of it this week so i wasn't sure what what has been said or not so i wasn't sure but i think it, i think people people heard about the this supposed auction coming which is exciting oh my god mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i've got something else coming some stuff coming I, I i do think i do think we should probably organize an announcement of some sort <laughs> should i go get my other thing Oh, you're just gonna okay. Exclusive preview stream uh, keeps going. No, I, I don't think I can get that far. Never mind. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, trickle feed. I don't think drip, I could get drip, out there that drip, far. Feed. I don't think I could. I'd make a mess drip, trying to drip, grab drip, it. Drip feed them. Yeah. Trickle yeah. feed. Tri trickle. Tri drip Cash feed. Game what are we trickling? It's trickling. We're trickling. You can't give us oh my god! Spoilers. Information. Make up some fake from our mouths for us to then. their body. Those gem. ideas are always fun. Okay, I'll go now. It's not a working day for me either, and apparently my brain has decided to uh, take it off as well. All right, well, I'll let you finish up your scar. Uh, good job on the. It's different. Everybody art. say it like that. That's just such a weird way of saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> why is the way you said that? It's so funny. All right, all right, all right, all right. Chat, 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 chat. It's coming. It's coming fast. Here, look at this. Look at this. Liz, things for you to get excited about. Things for you to get excited about. This is my favorite photograph. Um, this is going in the auction. So that you got a, you got a little shot of uh, of of it. So that that is that is I'm quite excited about that. That is a frame matted of my favorite image. Cool cool thought about that image by the way. That image was shot. That image was shot quite a few years ago now, but I have a series of photos from that moment. And we sat on the side of Cape Horn for probably we were going to get a Christmas tree. So we, we sat there for probably five or so minutes uh, or not five minutes. We were probably there for. I would say a half an hour. Princess and during that time, the weather changed so many times that I have like five or six different pictures of that place. spot. Completely, it look completely different. It's wild. But that's my favorite one. And it looks, to me, it looks like, uh, 
like a very like abstract painting because you could see the layers of colors. So you have the river down at the bottom. And then as you work upwards, you have the, I'm trying to find a, a photo of it. So this, this was at the, this was taken there. That's my grandpa's, um, that's my grandpa's uh, medium format camera. But I have another picture of that. This is the time my mom and I met Elsa and Anna at the Disney shareholders meeting. <laughs> I look at this one. I look like I just don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. I'm, so, I'm just like, I don't know, man. I really want to find a particular picture that's going to get on, go on the back of that image for the auction. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's a picture of me. There it is. 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 This picture. I'm going to put this on the back of the image. So much, Scar. That is me taking that picture. and share them with us. So that's me taking that picture. I'm going to put that on the back of, of it and then a little like history behind it. So Why is without the glare. 300, you okay, Scar? You looked like you were in pain earlier. Yeah, my ulcer is bleeding again or something. It feels like somebody has a screwdriver and they're trying to poke it through my stomach and it, it really hurts. <laughs> really hurts. Um, trying to get that scheduled, the uh, endoscopy for this is a pain. Um, they said that uh, I was going to do the endoscopy awake and then they said they were going to give me quote unquote subtle sedation to avoid respiratory depression. Um, and then all of a sudden I got a call from the hospital and they're like, hey, it's Sarah. Just letting you know that uh, they bumped up your endoscopy to the OR, which means it's going to take a little longer to schedule. And I'm just like, <laughs> why? And well, the doctor likes to have their Stanley cup in the room. So they had to bump it to the OR. No. Um, so they uh, they bumped it to there. So now apparently I have to have anesthesia, which I don't want to have anesthesia because if I have anesthesia, there's a, a, an event that I might wake up in the ICU and I don't want to wake up in the ICU. I want to go home. <laughs> so uh, Oh, and then they were like, and here's the problem. Uh, we only get four OR slots a month. So you're on the waiting list. So it could either happen now through May. So please be ready for a call. And I'm like, but I want to talk to the anesthesiologist in preoperative medicine to know why I need to go under a general anesthetic for an endoscopy. Well, that's for your safety. Well, I get it's for my safety, but I'd prefer to be awake because I don't want to have the complications of going under a general anesthetic for just simple endoscopy. Well, that's outside of my scope. And I'm like, <sighs> so yeah, every once in a while, I get, I just feel like, like somebody just took a screwdriver and just went like, hello. But the thing is, I've been dealing with this for since 2021 and it's just only gotten exponentially worse in the last, uh, in the in the last uh whatever so it is a pain and every once in a while it just wait that's not cap not is it caps is it caps is it statue no definitely not that we just ruined that book <laughs> is it statues <laughs> what is it guys is it statues Cleo? Cleo? It's capital? Oh my god, how many books are we gonna go through? Thank god I have all these extra books. <laughs> uh, so it's capital statue. Is that is that what we're saying? So it's capital statue. X300. We love you, Scar. Thank you for streaming with all that going on. Sorry it is all so frustrating. Really hoping it is sorted soon.
<laughs> this is really frustrating, guys. Hey, it worked! There we go! We got it! We got it! We got it! It worked! It worked! It worked! It worked! Okay, you know, th this usually, I do this every season where I make my statue book and I make this many mistakes because I never remember, is it capitals? Is it not capitals? Is it statue or is it statues? <laughs> okay, all right, we got, we got to put this menu book on that fishing rod. It's going to be amazing. So this is, of course, the menu book stolen from Green's fishing line. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. Okay. All right, let's see if we can find our armor stands that we threw away earlier. Where did we put those armor stands? Anybody remember? <laughs> anybody, uh, anybody remember? There they are. Beautiful. Sweet. I love this music that uh, Terracles put together. This music playing right now just has like a fun, like Disney whimsy, like walking down Main Street in the morning feel, doesn't it? Kind of has that feel, right? Right? Oh, I think it does. Okay, all right. Here's the question. How, how do we do this? This is this is those times where you wish Cleo was on. <laughs> it's like, Cleo! Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, that's not the armor stand book. That's the mending book. Okay, here we go. We're going to target the stand. Okay, I remember how to do this. I did some pretty cool... <laughs> That's a thing now? That's a thing? Dude, the flame on that's incredible. Dude, that's so useful for stuff. Wait, why'd the, why'd the thing reappear? Dude, that looks so cool. Wait, why is he back again? That makes no sense. Anyway, um, no fire. We don't want fire. <laughs> we definitely don't want fire. Okay. Um... Okay, we need arms. Okay, arms are check. Cleo's gonna be so proud of us, guys. Like, it's gonna be wild. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna apply no gravity. Oh, gosh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it live. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to do like an outstretched arm. Okay. Okay. Wait. No. No, wrong book. No. Give me back book. <laughs> okay, put that in its arm. Okay, sweet. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. All right. All right. This is going well. Okay, and then let's see what we got here. Can we do just like an outstretched arm? I mean, we could do it manually. Let's say, what about pointing? I feel like I've used pointing a lot. So sitting, sad, lazy, confused, death. What in the world? Oh, wait, no, that's... Unintentional death actually came out in our favor here. <laughs> that was a really weird word I just said. Okay, so if we drop this down... Okay, this actually worked out perfect. I just clicked death for lulls. Turned out it was what we wanted. Okay, looking good. We've got this. This is this is big, guys. We're gonna get this. Stand visible. Let's see. Let's make the stand invisible. Okay. Oh no 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 no! Come back to me. Come back to me. There you go, buddy. There you go. Okay. And we're gonna go like that. No, no, too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. We got this. We got this. This is gonna be so cool. A little further, a little further. The anticipation is sweet. Okay, okay, we're so close. Okay, oh, 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 oh. That's why I gotta check your dimensions here. We need to bring it in a little bit. Okay, a little more. Dude, this is gonna be amazing. A little further. Okay, good, 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 good. And then I'm gonna push it out just a smidge. Okay, we seem to lost it. All right, let's try that again. Yes! Oh, that looks amazing! Oh, that looks perfect! Oh, this looks good. Oh, we need to lower just a little bit. No. No. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. We just need to lower it down just a tiny bit. I'm a perfectionist in this way. Like, if it has to be it has to be touching. It is. It is. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it. And then we will seal... 
Is it lock or seal? I think it's lock. Like seal doesn't do anything, right? It just goes like unknown. So I, I don't know what that means, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna lock it and it's locked in. It's good. I love it. I love it. I love it. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, that's so good. That's so freaking good. I'm really, really happy with that. All right, let's, let's pop over here. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That looks amazing. <laughs> oh, gosh. I love it. Oh, that came out perfect. It looks so silly. It looks so silly, but fun. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> oh, look at a little book there. By the way, don't don't pay any attention to this giant mound. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Oh, I love it. I love it. That came out that came out fantastic. Well, there we go. We did some uh, some super fun stuff today. Before my stomach explodes, I will be I will be off. So yeah, got a lot of fun things planned. Announcement soon about the stuff that we talked about earlier. And um, yeah, super super fun, guys. Thank you so much for all the subscriptions, all the resubscriptions, the tips and the bits. Much appreciated. And um, by the way, I haven't mentioned it because I've been kind of away all week doing a lot of wild and crazy th stuff. Um, Thank you for all the support of my last video. I'm so glad you guys liked the um, the greenhouse. Like, there's so many fun and positive comments that I greatly appreciate um, over the, the greenhouse. So I'm so glad you guys checked it out. If you haven't seen the video yet, definitely check it out. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for the support. Hopefully you enjoyed today's stream. Uh, we got to see season seven, which was wild and crazy. Um, we uh, we, haven't been, uh, we haven't been back there for a long time, so it was really cool. Maybe in our next stream, we'll visit a season four or something crazy it's been so long some of you probably have no clue what season four was so uh that'll be really cool to do that And the next thing we need to do is raid.